YouTube stream should be on as well. His ability to all chat. I think TL wins, bro. So you're back, you're all chatting next round. Yeah, of course. For Tony Thieves, they're, they're like not a bad team. So I have to, I have to start attacking Quid. Like Quid misses a cannon, nice cannon loser. So he took a sabbatical on all chatting the last series. He was but just resting his fingers up for this. He's back. One. True, his wrist, his fingers, he's back at it. Um, and to me, this is a great matchup, A, because of the fact that APA is now crowdsourcing what he's going to all chat to the crowd out there. So if you threw in a good enough idea, maybe we'll show it on the broadcast. What should um, I type tomorrow? I nice. APA for that reason. I type tomorrow. The confidence I show think Briar is Show Briar cosplay? Hell no. he's going to be going up against somebody that I think has been performing All right, incredible I'm going to play the ads and then get quit. some water, some um, coffee, get so ready for the series. Six minutes on the series, boys. Not only had great leads uh, in the early portions of the game, usually, at least like the, we've seen that in the that just the last series, uh, but when they have put themselves in really dire straits consistently, when they're, uh, let's just say, like Team Liquid during the regular season, when they were losing ways, it's APA, no, it's not APA, it's Quid that finds either the, the two man Talia flick or the Ari charm that gets his team back in it. He has just been an, a ridiculously clutch player for 100 Thieves so far. Yeah, I definitely agree on the Ari point. Yeah, yeah. That, that is not APA Ari, that is Quid Ari. Yes. And he was talking about that being his favorite champion, and he was insane with it. He has been so good for them in team fights uh, as well. I just feel like all around, uh, I mean, obviously, first team all pro speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. And so this is just like the, just talking about the disparity during regular season, but also this includes the playoffs where APA actually had quite a good series. Um, and even in Quid's loss, uh, losses during the last series versus NRG, he was a major carry. He had like eight kills mm -hmm. in the first game on his Talia. So like, he's still somebody that is like, if 100 Thieves are going to win, it's going to be through Quid. It's going to be up to APA to be able to hold him. I think Quid should not be allowed to play Ari in this entire series. Mm. I just absolutely think he is way too good at that champion. He was looking like it was point and click charms. You know, every time he's been playing it in playoffs has been such a monster. Um, but I also think, you know, the differences in champion pool are, are so interesting because everyone is criticizing APA for being you know, this ASOL, Ziggs, two trick type thing, mm -hmm. but they keep giving it to him, right? And yeah. he's actually eight and one on those champions yeah. uh, throughout regular season plus playoffs. The only game he lost was actually a Ziggs team, 200 Thieves, where River was all over him on a That was five. game one. That was the first game of the season yeah. and non-stop attacking him. But I feel like his contribution on those champions is really high. And I do think TL has finally settled on just playing, scaling, 5v5, that's all we're gonna do. They're gonna play that style, and I think they're very successful at it. And if he's able to play Ziggs and Asol, I don't really think it, it, it's gonna be that big of a, a difference in mid lane. I think that he can perform. I wanna pull up predictions early because I think we've been talking back and forth on the different ways the teams could win. Yes.
be Come something back. that uh, is very Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. to the overall theme of this series, and most importantly, this next series that we're going to be seeing. So you can see APA very clearly on the Nico. Please steal wins so that that fraud and Golden Glue can be removed. What do you mean, bro? Into Team Liquid winning Golden Glue, it's his but first split as a coach. His I roster was not considered to be good at all, and they're, right they're overperforming. So Why do you want Golden Glue out? He's taken his hand off of the mouse. He has positioned his left hand, still where okay. his WASD would be, but able to type. And he does, if you focus in right into this box right here, very small chat window. Doesn't want to make a distraction, but does want to make a distraction for the other team. So he types two things. Wow, the ego. If we pay attention... Okay, a typing quick. montage? You can't quite typing see analysis? On the screen, but I'm at 35 seconds into this clip when he removes his hand from the mouse. By the time he finishes typing, only three seconds have passed. So ultimately, not a distraction for APA, but very potentially a distraction for the enemy team. Now, did this have you and our girlfriend been enjoying no. Germany? Yeah, me and our no. girlfriend have been uh, enjoying Germany, so yes. He's going to keep typing in this 100 Thieves series, which, by the way, happens now. Perfect. Dude, I like the LCS intro. Good. Yes, they fired everyone in the LEC, so LCS broadcast is better now. I mean, kind of true, yeah. It was a good day of LEC, not gonna lie. Yeah, it was a fine day of LEC. I mean, the first game was absolute dog shit. But outside of that, it was, it was fine. Weekend after knocking out the reigning champs just last week. On the other side, a Team Liquid Honda squad who want to make their way back to finals weekend, still chasing that first championship since 2019. The LCS playoffs continue. 100 Thieves versus Team Liquid Honda starts right now. Teams have been enjoying LCS lately. What do you think has changed? The LCS got better. It was really cool how they, how they handled that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the LCS playoffs here in spring 2024. I'm Captain Flowers, joined by Jack and Emily Rand for today's head to head between. Okay, we're already drafting. Nice. Let's go. Already. Smolder ban. There is ban from 100 Thieves. So 100 Thieves want Senna first pick, probably. Interestingly enough, on the 100 Thieves side, which means they do not want to pick it first uh, blue. And we were doing a lot of draft prep before the series. One of the things that we thought was going to happen for sure was a Vi permaban from Team yep. Liquid towards 100 Thieves. It's been Rivers' best champion. What we weren't necessarily yeah, there's the Senna ban. Although we know Expected that. All right, where do we go from here? As well. so do we first pick Nautilus? That's what people have been doing in LCS. Which would be one of the more scaling lane focus picks from each. So banning out River and banning for their bot lane is Team Liquid strategy in game one. Lots of marks. No way, right? Here in these first six, the Senna and Smolder, both of those eternal scalers that are Solo killed him last time they played. First pick Maokai. Seems kind of outdated. Wonder if um Kor and Yun go for their Lucian Nami. I think they should probably pick Talia away from Quid. I mean, actually, never mind. Just let him have Talia every game. Just play Ziggs into it. Never mind. I do think TL as we they hover some bot laners. I mean, this is crazy because this is one of the few series where TL actually has a bot lane advantage. Where TL actually can just win. Um, yeah, they can just win bot lane. I mean, to be honest, I don't have the teams that are left. There's, I mean, it's possible that TL is the second best bot lane. Yeah, Malka will probably be jungle, yeah. But I mean, you pick um, Zyra Khan like this, like what is what is left for 100 Thieves to actually pick? Like, they're not a team that plays poke lanes really well. I mean, theoretically, they could go something like Nautilus Kaisa, but I don't think it's that scary, to be honest. 
it's likely a Jace mid for Quid and a jungle Maokai for the Maokai Jace synergy. The way this works in the middle twice the viewers of the LCS stream. He is the Tarek of League. You are brain damaged and don't realize that LCS just started and he was streaming LEC before. So this is very much the But it's okay, bro. Picks we would expect from the team strengths. We have Quid, who was the most dominant mid laner in the regular season, getting the jungler to compliment him on Maokai Jace. And we have Team Liquid, who's won through their bottom lane, locking in their bot lane early. Yeah, and interesting to see the Cassante also coming out for yeah. Sniper, especially considering that previously their go-to blind was definitely the Aatrox. And I yeah. think <laughs> C9... But I can't call him brain damaged, why not? ...picking on red with the TF. Um, with a few of more of Fudge's picks there. So it's interesting that they've now pivoted. Uh, people just love to shit on LCS viewers here, man. It's like people's fetish, I think. are going to go ahead and lock in Talia for mid lane. They do not want to allow 100 Thieves to throw some more bands towards that in the second. I mean, Talia, I don't know. You a bit do you want to play Talia here? Or would you just go poke for spoke? Yeah, all chat history there. But he has been one of the players that Team Liquid's opponents have found ways to exploit and to punish. So making sure that he's staying on something the TL double lift, okay is a good priority for TL here. Yeah, absolutely And something we have to mention every week of the LCS playoffs is we're on patch 14.5 with Azir Disabled so there's actually an yeah. extra ban that is globally across these LCS teams Stopping them from playing mid lane really weird TF ban there I wouldn't expect <laughs> a top lane TF from impact, but yeah. there is definitely a little bit of uh, Lingering memory there from hundred thieves who lost to fudges top lane TF earlier in the playoffs it yeah, does not a, seem like an impact pick no, at no, all. No, in fact, when they were giving impact... Do they like, ban uh, uh, Renekton here? He's just like, I'll just lock in. Or do they ban Jax maybe because, because he was playing a good Jax? I mean, I think Renekton could be... Um, I, I mean, also, impact could always just play other tanks. To ban out these bot laners as we see Kaisa and Zeri now taken Let's off see. the table. So I'll be really curious to see what 100 Thieves are going to be... Yeah, Zeri's bugged. ...in that bot lane. And then yeah. on their side, as we said... TF getting out of the way. Sniper does not want to see it again. Um, as could be Rek'Sai, could be Udyr as well. He plays both. You could run really Udyr and then like uh, like Zinn or something. You could go that angle. This is what I want to be, and I feel like I mean, Zinn is still pretty strong, assuming they're going to have an AD carry as well. I don't mind the Zinn pick here. Let's see how Team Liquid okay, to so what do we go here on side of 100 Thieves? What do we go here? I think it's in. I mean, there's a couple yeah, angles. We can go, um, like we said, we could go Kaisa Nautilus. Um, we can go something like Aphilios if we really want to play it. We can go Nautilus with like, if you want to play other carries, you can go like Nautilus, um, uh, Nautilus Draven and stuff. Ooh, the Jinx for me, alongside the Jinx TK. I mean, I don't really like it. I think also Impact has to go an AD champion here. Does he go Jax? Because he kind of smurfed last time he played Jax, so maybe he's confident on that. If not, like Rek'Sai top actually does seem good here. The way the meta has been shaping up, so not a shock here. We'll see how Meech does on it. One thing I'm a little concerned about here for 100 Thieves the big damage threats are all physical damage based. Yeah, you've got True. some magic damage from Maokai, but it's not a ton. So the frontliners for Team Liquid are going to have a much easier time itemizing, I would have to think. And it's the Renekton. The Ends up being Renekton. I mean, Renekton's okay. I'm not a huge powerful, fan of it. Powerful it's okay. On Team I would have liked to see something yeah, else, to be honest. Team Liquid are going to be really comfortable playing. On the other side, I'm very curious about 100 Thieves because I feel what like you guys they think? haven't played around Who wins draft? Meech on a hyper carry. Just wondering what you thought about this. Uh, Just got a name change because my name was you're actually team. bad. Um, and I'm also really curious so I was wondering what you think or what you thought and if you find it funny because I changed it to you're bad jungler, and they're okay with the name change. How his jungle pool with the buy off the table I don't know, bro. A little bit. Uh, yeah. into more carries that we saw in specifically in the c9 but you actually get your name changed because of because of it being you're actually bad really because as you talked about it Jack kind of really ill good setup for the jace but it's not necessarily as early ganking of a jungler i think hunter thieves got from the a decent comp. the thing is i don't know if hunter thieves is going to be able to execute this comp well it's just about time to hit the rim coaches gonna give each other the fist bump Getting ready to go into this one. This is a spot in finals weekend both these teams are playing for here. They really want to have their shot at that title. Keep this run going. 
but that's the nature of the lower bracket, baby. Both of them want it. Only one gets to have it. Whoever loses here today gets to watch finals weekend from home. And the Diffie in mid is so huge one. that Hunter Thieves can win. Yeah, I, I got to see how Quid's Jace looks. I feel like Jace is not that easy to like Omega carry a game with mid. Last week. Hundred Thieves actually eliminated the defending LCS champions in a five-game gulag, as oh, yeah. we called it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's just, that's just normal. GLHF. I and couldn't so keep making terror. Also finished third place in summer split of. Bro, that's one of my favorite Gilius quotes. Yeah, I just made terror. APA Yawn and Core JJ, the three remaining members. I was just making terror. So weirdly, like, what does that mean, bro? For Team Liquid, I, think? I mean, the thing about the Renekton pick is it's very hard for him to die. We want to make it to top three. As we see so that's the 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 Renekton is gonna be a uh, monster Renekton. Lane phase is also really good for him as well. <laughs> so it's fun to see that uh, out of these two junglers as well. They have a little bit of, I'll say like not actual beef, but kind of like y'all about to learn who APA really is. Quid had his 15 minutes. It's curtains for bro now. True. Impact first force to start. E at level one doesn't matter. Renekton is mine starting E at level one if 100 Thieves has everyone muted. So you do the like friendly conversational banter at the start before you mm. get into something meaningful. Uh. And you do it while you're looking around to like set down your early words yeah. in the jungle because then if somebody's caught typing, maybe you get a flash <laughs> that you wouldn't otherwise get. It's the min-max on when you type. It's not just what, it's when. We know River will hear. That's the one thing confirmed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so Thumbs up. Expecting the action but I'm surprised that impact emotes. Game, you guys think? I mean, both junglers are starting on top side i'll be curious to see where uh they go just based on we did see umty going bot a little bit more and then you just uh, e the wave Asuka it's so team dumb team how talia plays lanes um, you so actually just perma perma spam your e and q on the wave every single time like there's no like you don't have to manage your mana you don't do anything you just i think i'd be press your eq on the wave over and over again like a npc it's so insane when we have the entire 100 Thieves strategy, I feel like, built around this Maokai Jace. Okay. And, You're surprised because uh, he's a boomer? Yeah, literally. So Normally, older players new aren't new used to, like, emoting and stuff. That's a newer player thing. Plus assists, so I think it's mid and bot, and that's why both junglers have stopped in the top side. They're just pathing down. Right. They're leaving the Cassante Renekton mm -hmm. to be in their own little world, and they'll rejoin the game at 12 minutes. But for now, it's a room fast if you permit either way. I mean, you're not, though. You E every single wave once, and then you just spam Qs on it. The only thing is, you have to make sure that you're like capitalizing on worked ground because that's what makes it so broken. This is incredible. I need to work on that buff, but yeah, Umpty just showing off. River secures the buff, though. Umpty a little bit too late. Oh, Umpty almost got there. River will be happy with that one. Yes, this is kind of the Umpty special, though, mm -hmm. right? Like, I mean, River gets a full clear off, and Umpty's only done three camps. If you're facing him, he's out clearing him as a percentage of any rel into Maokai. Nice. And TL as a team have the or as Maokai into rel. Percentage, so he does really like to get actively involved in his opponent's jungle. And River is a good jungler that you should track, right? You always want to know where he is. Yeah, but I will say because Umpty was about half a second late on that smite. He lost two extra camps. Whoa, hold on. Big trade. Beach, taking a lot of damage down here as Yon and Corge The Ignite was a little bit late. I'm pretty sure you got heal off before the Ignite. If you do it, if you pretty much land a trade, what I've noticed in pro play is that like, if you ever get a good trade where you hit a CC, you just automatically ignite in pro. Like that is so important that River was there because with how low Meech is right now, if they didn't have the jungler taking control of the river there, that could have been a first blood angle for Umpty. He wouldn't have had to go clear his top side of jungle. He could have been bot lane. There was a shove. Like that was very good word from impact. A great early game plan, but River secured the smite, got level four first, got scuttle crab, and I think actually saves his bot lane first blood. Yeah, and a lot of things you see from River are just kind of this general awareness, right? As he's uh, really low. He's fine, he's fine. Speaking of general awareness, he's fine. Ayla, he's barely fine. hanging on there. He's all right, he's all right. He's aware. But, uh, he's Stay <laughs> for the cannon, cancel the recall one time. After trying to stop oh, never mind. Okay, he got the experience, never mind. The turret. He manages to hold on to it for a little while, but Meech now back in lane trying to farm up whatever's left of these minions. It is a preferable lane state for Yon and Kor, who got to shove the wave in and then take their back right after. Yeah. Why is this series of 20k viewers on Twitch official stream? Because it literally just started. We're like four minutes into the first game. LEC just turned off, so it'll get up up there soon. Um, as he could be looking for something potentially.
mostly around the groves. Yeah, we got five. Also, it's like Friday, right? So it's just less viewers. I think even like during game one of LEC, like after game one, LEC only had like 37 or something on the mainstream. Three early grubs for Team Liquid. Especially with how good Rel is at just securing this objective anyway. You've got a good grub farming champion. You've got total control over the top side. Ayla looks for an abyssal dive. Oh, they got Flash here. The Ghost and Flash both spent by the Zaya. He really needs to use both. That seems crazy to me. Avoid the engage, avoid this two v one situation. Yeah, and that's the call. But I guess, man. They were able to secure those because Core JJ left and showed on the map. Meanwhile, Ayla wanted to make something happen. Incredibly easy for the Tom Kench to tank multiple turret shots. I'll say it's final on Easter. Yep, it's classic. Easter has only hurt our viewership by a whopping one percent. Gonna be the Mark C tweet afterwards. Party happen pretty soon. Yeah, as we see River kind of circling around. He will see umpty with that ward placed. So all our solo laners are level six now. All four have used their teleports for the first time already. Mm. But remember that APA on Talia is going to have a lot more room to try to- Yan is such an unbelievable anchor control. for APA. That's what I'm saying. How can APA carry these bums? That's why he needs to play Aurelian Soul. He needs to play a late game carry to carry these complete bums. I think, I think it would be hilarious if TL just lose this game hard and then just they're like, all right, bro, we tried playing one game of Talia. Back to Ziggs, Aurelian Soul. They just play Ziggs, Aurelian Soul the rest of the series and win Rome against them they're using this tempo fairly well i'd say because they were unable to steal the grom it doesn't do that much for them and it's just really been a couple stat oh from these two teams oh he didn't get him into the wave or into the turn i mean and he didn't get him into the rocks either gg when we headed into this matchup i was thinking like Thieves, I know for vision, man. Potential Drake timer, yeah. Drake timer for 100 Thieves, because like um, it looked like he was going to base. Probably had just based. Much better team on the map, macro -wise. Sniper goes in for the all out as Impact pops Dominus in response. The all he can kill him there, no? Can Impact kill? I think if, if Impact just straight up fights it, he wins, doesn't he? Because um, Sniper had no, uh, no W there. I think low-key impact kind of pussied out here. He could have just sent it. He could conquer fully stacked. He had E and his W coming up. You made dinner? Yeah. Oh my god, what'd you make me? Yeah? I mean, you made me a kebab? I knew I kept you around for a reason. Thank you. One bite. I have water. So. Alright, I'm taking one bite of this big ass kebab. Spent by the hundred thieves eighty carry. We were talking about what's gonna happen in bot lane now with Yawn not having his flash or his ghost, and what happens is Meech gets put at the same spot. Yeah, they pushed a little far up as second time now. Oh, and yeah. Our girlfriend is cooking as you made this kebab that's wrapped in something that says kind of Yawn or kebab. At least towards that side, although they'll get spotted out. Yeah, I mean. I think because there's been so w many girlfriend, that's what I'm saying. towards bot, you'd think there'd be a lot of action there, but they've also mm -hmm. just been littering that bot river and bot jungle with wards and attention. So mm -hmm. they're both very aware that that's where people would want to go. And until one of these mid laners, that's a donor, not a kebab. Entirely, we're not going to see that much. Fuck. River what does that mean? Very first visit to the top lane, either the Gilly has asked her to cook. Yeah, he's asked her to cook, make right, coffee, a make a sandwich. He's like, oh, can there. you make a sandwich or a toast later? Who the fuck says toasts? Can you make a toast That's later? A like what the fuck? It's a vision war. <laughs> Actually, no, I shouldn't say that because then we'll get people cheering for war kills again. <laughs> now you've done it. Now you summoned it. Now you made it real. <laughs> Team Liquid bring an umpty down with Core JJ as they'll make their way back towards bottom lane. Yawn's fine, just farming up underneath the turret. I'm sorry, Emily. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did this. Well, this also happened. Bro just wanted two pieces of toasted bread, I guess, bro. Kill per minute in the last two series, and currently they're at 0.00. Base rush diff. I mean, lane's going fine for both. They're both like just perfectly CSing and just spamming spells on the waves. This game hasn't broken Ulti from Ayla here. He has ult. Beach is going to get gobbled up, brought to safety by Ayla. As soon as they see the devour, they know that they don't have to commit anything else. It's force like umpty to show here. Not bad. There, but they force that Three grubs for TL, Drake for 100 Thieves. The jinx is really I don't think one team massively like outscales this, the other. This yeah. game is close because Just going to come down to like, can TL find flank angles and engages? Or 4CS, but 
Meech has a call, so he's gonna get Because like even though 100 Thieves, I guess, outranges, they don't outrange by like some ridiculously absurd amount. You know, it's just the Jason outranges and they can always flank and kill. But that's why the game's been so close. Mid and bot have not swung in either direction. Oh, good. Oh, clean. I like it. Nice. Okay, core, core is so back. That that is worth one bite of the kebab right there. Again, one major thing that we've seen from TL that I really liked because previously it looked like top lane was really the only place where Umti felt comfortable kind of communicating. Whereas he's gone bought a lot more frequently in this playoffs, and I think it's really paid off for them. And the last time Grubs got taken, we were praising the response on the mm. other side, taking yep. the tempo. This time around, it was hundred thieves at the Grubs, and team actually two bites of the kebab. The two bites of the kebab yeah, right everything there. Everything is connected because not only did River spend time up there, Quid even fogged into top lane. I actually yep. feel like that situation was hundred thieves thinking, "Oh, TL really wants to get six Grubs," yet. They're actually thinking to dive bot lane, which in this case is better. You see the Kraken Slayer completed by Yon now as well. Next Drake is going to be up in a minute, and that's how they're going to try and play this game. They want to get Yon really fed. Well, we're not going to get any more. Impact just up 20 CS. Going, yeah. going just right dry. Now, looking in there. Are we going to get Dominus? Are we going to get all out? No, we're not going to get any. Really good ward there. Yeah. Ayla. Just hanging around it's it's always interesting the mind games that you play once you have an opponent on top of a ward like that because you have to play just dumb enough to get him to stick around for the longest amount of time possible and quit is kind of doing his thing faster passing through mid as river and Ayla doesn't really matter back down into the bottom lane yon and core not going to expose themselves here they're plenty safe back underneath the turret yep core being the as he likes to say human ward in that push mm -hmm. to make sure that his bot laner can step up they're just going to keep bouncing waves until empty arrives in which case they're getting dove mid and continue the game plan but speaking of which river wanted to go for apa where are they shouting so we can hear the gank or what bro you can see both what was that even when they don't pop successful ganks are looking towards their lanes right well, we got something weird happening here yeah, yeah let's uh let's take a look as umpty hex flashes over the wall but there's 400 thieves oh, players no. already prepared for this fight umpty trying to get back away but river jumps over the wall with twisted oh my god they missed they missed the rocket here meetus is dead Never mind. Or just left. The fuck is going on here? Okay. Ah, uh, that looked so fucking sketchy, bro. That looked so fucked up. But it ended up working, I guess. Moment and Team Liquid get the upper hand. Yeah, and I think we, as we go through the replay, we're gonna see Impact TPing in on the backside of this fight. Um, I mean, if Meech just hit, hit the ult here, I mean, they knocked him out of the ult here. He is about to get gone. It would be actually um, huge if Meech got the Core kill here because then he would get a reset. On him, which I guess Core was trying to charm up the Tom Ken so he couldn't meet Meech. Didn't end up working here. Impact is flash cues. That top lane fight with Sniper narrowly allows him to keep DPSing from the backside. That was so close. Like the fact and then Sniper is just one top lane dying 1v3. Other AD carry and the other one narrowly missed, I think, is ultimately what turns it. Great flash followed by APA in the end there. Kind of no, clean. You know, no big play for Quid or River yet in this game, but several big plays for the Meech team. Fraud. Uh, yeah, I think Meech is kind of a fraud. I mean, uh, I don't know. It depends on what you mean by a fraud, right? Like, he's just not that good. But he is a rookie, and he's playing on a team. Well, he's he's made it to top four, so. I definitely would say he's probably one of the worst AD carries in the league. I have him under Masu, Berserker, Yeon, B-Voy. It's close between him and Tactical. About things that he still I think Tomo is probably the only the AD carry worse team, than him. As opposed to being an NA Guaranteed. And now here comes the mid game macro. Like right after that fight, they immediately swap lanes. They send Scrap the here. Bottom early. They send their AD carry mid and they fight in the jungle. There's your Wombo. Yon's here. I mean, Yon's so strong. He gets into any fight. They're just going to win it. Ayla is alive. River is dead. Okay. They return one kill. Trade it back for core as hundred thieves show 
oftentimes to at least get and core walked too far forward but it's fine so good for team yeah. for so long because yawn was just able to free hit and it didn't look like hunter thieves was getting anything back but they just burst damage down on a core jj and actually getting that one kill onto meech really matters because he is so decelerated compared to where yawn is in this game that yeah. one kill really helps him yeah, and obviously they're going to be... So I think that Zaya is literally the only AD carry in the game that is not rushing Shiv out of ones that would actually build like attack speed and crit. I think Quid has been kind of quiet in this game. Sniper is a better entertainer, we well, decided to chat. Can, let's see if we can do something this game because that's zero are one zero. Um, But one thing that's really important to point out is look at the mid scoreline, right? Like, even though Quid has been able to get push and a CS lead, uh, APA is doing really well to join up in these fights for TL. He, he is. I, I think we might see a TP here from Quid, though, because APA just committed all bottom lane, and he's in river to potentially TP for a fight if Hunter Thieves wants it. Hunter Thieves seem to just be backing away. Uh, now, I mean, there's no... Not a Rakan and, and Rel are gonna have all. They should not fight this, bro. About the, of the, turn, but they will have the main the thing is that Yeon is just gonna kill everyone if they fight. Sniper makes his way TP is like pretty early here. Maybe they can go on to Sniper. Sniper has to ult. I think Sniper had to ult there, no? He doesn't? Okay. Walks it off, I guess. Meanwhile, turret drops thanks to Meech putting in the work in mid lane. So 100 Thieves trying to claw back some of this gold difference. And they got the TP from yeah. APA. So Everyone rushing Shiv reminds me of my time in London. All right, bro. Relax. on how good the usage ends up being for Team Liquid. Decent macro there by Hunter Thieves, and now Quid can go back bottom lane, knowing he has the TP advantage, which is why Team Liquid is summoning the Herald right now and going for turrets. Okay, should be no problem to take oh, this man. out. Nice engage coming out from TL as they force the devour from Tom Kench. They're gonna kill him anyway, and Meech has to flash and goes just to barely get Only one kill, but HP. it's really big. Oh, they got a second one here. Okay, APA W's onto the face of River. Yeah, and even as you see, uh, obviously Quid... Second one that he's hit now? Again, Pretty big. APA being able to join up for these fights with the Talia flicks, have, he's been playing really well. He has been... Looks really fucked. This Game looks completely over now. Sure, he's down Seems like the engage is just yeah, too hard for them to deal with. Picks. And Hunter Thieves is not a team that's like really good at like... That's what prompted that spacing and positioning as a team. Seems like the comp is going to be too hard to play. They're going to lose the mid turret. But they're gonna get a huge push bottom lane. I normally don't like comps like left side team comp unless like the best teams in the world play those comps. Or like maybe like LNG. I could deal with LNG playing this comp. Like Weiwei, Maokai, and, and Scout Jace. I could see that. They're probably the only team that's not elite that I would like to see play this. TL have done such a great job of getting on to Meech. Right? They know exactly who they have to get onto in what are you stuffing your face with okay bro i'm just eating one time on an eight hour stream but sure right like there's he shouldn't have even still been there they're not going to be able to defend that tier two turret so that one doesn't feel so great zero three and two on the maokai and i feel like i've eaten like five bites of it over 20 minutes bro for why this game looks so bad for 100 thieves this guy is such a crucial part of the engine when this team gets online and when they get running and for him to just be so shut down and not able to make any plays all right it really play around drake so much of the threat of that hundred thieves viciousness as sniper going all out here that's the flash Q3 probably. Oh, good. Does Meech get this? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Meech is going to get fucking run down. I feel like Yon's like so close to being good, but he's just not, you know? But I don't even really like this play that much from... uh. Of course, is flying in, bro. I don't even like this play that much from TL. Like the fact that they're all topside when Drake is spawning, I just don't think it's good. Ayla, what are we doing? Why is Ayla just waddling into the whole enemy team? The fight is over. Little bro, the fight is gone. Okay. Our river is dead too. GG. Game's over. This sequence was fought for no reason. Pick for him. Wait, doesn't it just not look clean from you? I'm like, all right, let me watch it again. Let's see how, like, let's see where the, where did the Q go? Because, I mean, he's insanely strong at this point. As you can already see, Yon is headed down the river. He gets here. 
And I'm then Core. Okay. Core is going to appear on the back end of this fight. He sent his cue to Narnia. Jace TP's in. You you do think they'll be able to turn it around here? Eh. Especially mm -hmm. since they shut down. Uh. That really importantly goes to Quid. But Umti is here. Impact is here. And here comes Core JJ. There he is. I mean, just because Impact has been playing for 12 years doesn't mean his hands have gotten worse. He's still got super hands. <laughs> Impact just navigated the whole fight. So I called Jinx's his old slicing maelstrom because all that was on my mind was <laughs> slice from Renekton because he's just dancing around so crazy, man. <laughs> Holy this shit. Slayer vs. Impact in 2016. So Sniper was 10 years old. See the comparison here. Yeah, but between 2016. The crazy. The ages of our players as team uh, they can't, they can't check this. Thousand gold. They and they're this. daring hundred thieves to come challenge. Okay, APA, Zonyas, he has flash. He's on. He has a Saras, bro. People need to peel him, though. Good W. He's alive. He can just TP back. They should do Baron. This game is over, bro. They're getting stomped. This is like a 20 minute game. Nah, they can't even desperation play it. He should just leave. He should have probably pushed mid, but it doesn't matter what he does. What I want to see from TL now is I want to see them do the LPL ending, bro. When you're this far ahead against a comp like this, do the LPL ending. The LPL ending is you just straight up fucking dive them. When you have flash on rel here, you just send it under the fucking turret. Like you 5v5, just omega send it down one lane. You five mana lane and just send it with this comp. You just win the win the game instantly. Sure, he's yapping as well. Diz technically get caught if it was a more even game, but the game is not that even, and it's on the back side of the fight there where you see Core and Umti just completely training Hunter Thieves with their CC. They can't get through it. I mean, to be they fair, Hills kind of engages and stuff have been pretty clean this, this game, I think. Very much like a Team Liquid game one victory. You can see the frustration on Golden Glue's face as things are about to go They'll from stop. bad to worse. Ayla just gets popped by Yawn. The damage from Team Liquid, the coordination of all of them in the same place okay. at the same time doing the go same bot. damn thing to 100 Thieves again and again and again. It's 17 to 3. Team Liquid's going to make this one fast. And as we look at TL's overall playoff performance, the thing that's really struck me is a core. And just send it, man. When if they walk up to any turret, just fucking send that shit. Detaching core from lane. Let them know. Early as you can like, him to affect other how is Meech able to walk up there, by the way? Without Tom Kench, how is he able to walk up and touch this in front of Umpty? And for me, as Hunter Thieves might try to go for Umpty. Doesn't he just go get Astro one shot? This game is first team All Pro player of the game leader Quid. And then Yappa. <laughs> Yappa. We have APA with a 700 gold. I guess he TP's been involved in every major fight. Land looks for an ult. Crucial seismic show. Me, you end the game on this Baron 100%. Massive difference from the series expectations that it's part of why Team Liquid is blowing them out. And I think this is what Team Liquid fans have been. Like, how are we not cracking an inhib with this Baron, by the way? How are we not just like cracking an inhib with this Baron? We're so far ahead. We're up 10k gold at 23 minutes, and the enemy team has like really bad uh, base defense. Like, they don't have good wave clear here. The only person that can actually wave clear is Jace. We'll be able to rally around and protect him. Half HP remaining on a tier 3 turret here in mid lane. Why have they not sent it? The observers are leaning into it now. So yeah, far. We're, we're all in the same another team one. here. There we go. Now another beautiful shove going to start off this fight. Up these really Get the fucking turret, guys. Send it, send it. Oh my god, Umpty. It's GG. But like, they could have done this earlier, no? Like, this is what I'm talking about. You just five-man send it? Like, what is that? What is the counterplay to this? When you're this far ahead, what is the counterplay? I mean, they should tank the turret right now. I think the back door bonus is off as long as that thing is there. But they have time. They have 10 seconds on Baron. I think they're going to try and end. 100% you end. Nice. Flashed away, but it's a little bit too little. A little bit too late. Core JJ still just pressuring them all the way back into the fountain. Ayla? First Nexus turn. APA gets the kill on Meech there. Beautifully done. As Team Liquid, they got low health bars, but all five just hit, just hit. Alive. The Nexus turrets are dropping. The Nexus just hit, just hit, just hit. Will pop in under 25 minutes, and Team Liquid nice. makes quick work of hundred thieves in game one. Yeah, that was amazing to see from TL. Uh, that was probably really Core's best game this split. All right, now we eat our kebab during the break. Again, the the core of.
Umti combo to start these fights, playing a lot more around their bot laner, and then also APA showing up with a great Talia game. Impact being, I mean, Impact is kind of, people identified him as one of the best performers on this team, even when they looked really shaky, but obviously joining up for fights. Are you looking at chat? Yeah, yeah. so well, what at, we got? at the end, APA just types, First team all pro mid. Dude, XD. Full screen, you want to see the kebab? Yeah, he's you see how fast she got yeah, he's out. <laughs> That's what we like to see. APA is feeling it, and Team Liquid is feeling good after game one. There you go. Tickets for LCS finals angle. sold out immediately. But if you still want to attend, we got some good news. We've opened up additional seating to watch in the outdoor fan fest zone alongside Sneaky and Medios. There's only a few of those tickets left, too, though. So scan that QR code to get yours before they sell out. And now with game one already wrapped up, let's head back over to the LCS lounge to break it all down. Sweet, welcome back to the lounge. My name is Isaiah <laughs> Isaac Cummings Bentley. I'm here in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing over there? Why is the camera on me? <laughs> What's that mean here? about me? What are you doing? Do I, guys, mm -hmm. why are you trying to steal the spotlight? Certainly I look more handsome. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into the fact that this game was a shellacking on the side of Team Liquid. They destroyed 100 Thieves. I wanted to focus on the bot lane fight that ended up blowing this one up. First things first, it looks like Team Liquid is the one that's out of position as Umpty's put in the pit trying to find a way if he want to look for a fight in here this tri bush but if we play it out uh, he gets caught out um 100 thieves as a whole just encircle him and most teams would say okay you're gone buddy this game is over from this point forward but if you pause it right here i want to open up the mini map just a little bit as you can see uh renekton impact in this case puts a uh, goes in a really safe insane, bro. in which kasante cannot like uh, an eight out of ten so he can tp to this ward right here so while 100 thieves as a team is focusing on umpty and him being out of position renekton impact actually refocuses his team on a very cut off guard niche so just play this one through because this to me showcases how good of a team fighter impact is and how well team team liquid as a, uh, as a squad and now we can pause it here um really play around the call so yes as you can see um Meech gets blown up, but he's saved by uh, Tom Kench. He's out of the fight completely. Jan's in really. Uh, it has feta position, cheese. But he's just basically. What they call salad, but like lettuce on it. From, uh, sniper in particular. Let's play the this kebab. One more time. That's a spicy sauce. Because my eyes are on Meech. Um, shield, what else? And flash Q from Renekton to be able to take him out. The and meat, obviously. This team fight because as you can pause quickly. Or, um, they're all it's insane, bro. The top side of the insane mountain, kebab. So they're just buying time. Impact is soaking up. Uh, as much damage as possible and quiz the one who's out there we of go. position. That's what it looks like. He had an well, opportunity to leave and you can play this one so good. Uh, but he lost that opportunity. Impact pushes him up. And so the rest of Team uh, Liquid can now zone him through. So it starts, this entire fight starts with Umpty being out of position. But it was Team Liquid during the fight itself, recognizing that Meech was out of position. The TP from Renekton comes through and Impact, I thought, plays really well to then make that fight into a Team Liquid win. Well done, boys. A plus. Me especially, right? Nice yeah, job. I well done. Thank you know you what? You're, you're looking especially shiny today. Thank you. Thank I love you. it. Thank you. I got some, I got some fun facts for you fellows as Hit well. Me. That was the fastest game of playoffs and the second fastest of the entire spring split. That's a pretty fun fact. So we are off to the races here, and it's not looking that good for hundred thieves at the fun start. With that um, I would say hundred thieves have a lot of room to make improvements. Um, bottom lane for sure. Impact is obviously the GOAT with the teleport. Yep. But Core JJ putting that ward deep up on the bottom lane uh, and then focusing with jungle ganking down there early also was really smart. But uh, even back to draft, uh, I think they can make some improvements here. Absolutely. Well, 100 Thieves look like a cohesive unit on the rift, but last week, Emily put... Oh, it's the wrong copy. Excuse me. Never mind. We got you, buddy. All right, well... <laughs> I got boomed. We're going to a break. We'll be back after this. But you're looking good. Thank you. I'm a meat. It's like um, lamb. All right. What the fuck? Wow. What? <laughs> what is going on? Scarner, baby. Wait, you don't know the ability? No. Wait, no one knows the ability. No. I'm gonna start off before I even press play saying I love how badass he looks. New Skarner is big, he's bad, he's Chad, he's got three tails. I love him. It's like a silent. What? Whoa. 
there is a lot of stuff going on on my screen. Seems like the ult is similar. Oh my god. Oh. He's digging. Can you go through walls? <laughs> Looks so OP. It's gonna be a full tank champ with Engage. The Q is the same, I assume, right? I feel like every time a new League champ comes out or a rework, I'm always like, this cannot. Like, this would look so weird in League, and then eventually it becomes normal. It looks so fun. It made Skarner look so cool. I don't even know what that was. New Skarner's gonna be doing some WWE me. I love it. I love it. Looks I fun as fuck to play. Hopefully he's playable, honestly. This I'll play it, dude. We'll do some <laughs> Skarner really streams. Fun. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot different. Actually, I thought it was gonna be more similar to old Skarner. Yeah, he has Tama. Okay, he's going through the wall. Okay. Oh, you can you can get a skull crap fast. That is pretty lit. Oh my god, the grabbing grabbing the stone is come here. Oh my god, he threw a rock at him. Pretty little damage. And the cooldowns are really high. So his W is pick up a rock. Yeah. Okay. It slows everyone in a certain radius. Is it a tank or? Right, let's ease the drift. E over the wall. 130 damage. What is? This? ETA, bro. Just like that. Where the fuck was the ult, bro? This nah, Scarner player sucks ass, bro. I cleared the Scarner player in my first game. W is like he just hits the ground because he's mad. Auto W, auto Q, auto E. So you kind of want to scan mm -mm. auto attacks with, with the spell. You can tell if he does a lot of damage yet. Let's see. Okay, he's fighting Jax. Oh, is that? Oh, that's. The... Holy. Sh yeah. E that goes through towers. Yeah, that's really. Wait, the E is actually OP though. No, it looks like it's gonna be fun as fuck. Well. Yeah, it looks like E skill is the most OP skill. Looks like. I think it's really very, very useful in on Seiji. So you get the shield and you also knock back people. Why doesn't he Q before he takes his. Oh, wait, oh, wait, it can get cancelled. At least his E can get cancelled. It's like a Ram skill. Can you over there? Can you E multiple people? Let's see how he didn't try for you. And you can only grab one target, it looks like, on your E. Skarner's new passive also is a three-hit passive that applies a dot on the third hit. So having something that gives you that auto-reset can be very powerful. It's also why you're seeing stuff like PTA, like Halo Blades. It's like, not not really a carry. Oh my god. Holy sh... Okay, that was aggressive. You're in the middle of everybody. Let's see if we get the multi-ulti, Skarner. Come on, grab them, dude. Grab them, dude. Oh sh... Wait, it pulls multiple people? one person. Wait, his ult is multi-people. Oh Oh my gosh, you can suppress more than one person. Every jungler is gonna play this, by the way. It's so broken for sure, really. Yep. It's so amazing. I'm a little bit scared of the champ. I feel like it might just be a competitive champ. This kid is a like competitive type of something that you really want in your team as a jungler. Because you can be creative with your engage. You are a tank and you have AOE CC. It looks like the stone throwing or W looks like not popular, but E and Ulti is like so good at like, you know, making the play. You know, for junglers, like, it's pretty ungankable to gank top uh, when you're on blue side because you just ward uh, the pixel bush and then and then you can't really go over this giant wall that's here anymore. But I, I mean, I guess Skarner can just E through it. So that's, this looks really fun though, actually. What the fuck happened?
Wait, is the YouTube stream getting copyright striked because of this or what? This is one of the best experts in League. Hey, thank you, bro. An actual doctor and you can't prove that I'm not. All right. I'll take your word for it. What about things that are fully verifiable has no counter? True. Because it's the anime opening. The theme song for TL. But yeah, I mean, I think TL actually came out and like this, this game means a lot because obviously in game one of a series, something that you have to consider is like, this is what these teams like main approaches and reads were like you might have some things that you're not showing in the first game but normally the first game is like dictates what your overall approach to the enemy team is i think that 100 thieves approach in general doesn't make sense when you consider what 100 thieves strengths are versus tl like i think tl will always out macro 100 thieves like my, my interpretation of this series is that if they end up in situations that are dictated by like dragon setups or baron takes or plays around um turrets sieges things like this i think that tl will always beat 100 thieves i think 100 thieves angle to beat tl is out skirmishing them so what i would want is actually like the opposite of this draft i wouldn't want 100 thieves to play like the tl side i want to see 100 thieves draft as many buttons as possible so they can like perma fight and just win through better skirmishing better mechanics things like that because that is where maybe they have an advantage like sniper is good mechanics quit is good mechanics like river is solid on the champions that he plays i feel like if these guys are able to like get into 3v3s and situations where they actually like have winning like potential in, in skirmishes they'll be able to take those leads and carry them throughout the whole game and win but i think that if they just try to play like maokai jays and these relatively like passive 2v2s where they're scaling and they're trying to spike on two items it becomes very hard to actually like win the game the fuck is this bro dom i legit always thought that you're an ex-drug addict now that i grew up and it's been more than 10 years of league and i see you in myself i realized it was just league yeah i've just played like more league than anyone else bro I played some of the most league out of anyone. Like a lot of the pros now, like they started playing the game in like season three, season four. By the time that, that they started playing the game, I'd probably played close to like 30,000 league games. Maybe not 30,000, but you get the point. Probably like, how many games would I play a season? No, I'd probably play like 4,000 games a season back then. At least 4,000, bro. At least 4,000. At least 4,000 a season. So I probably played like 15,000 games before a lot of these pro players started playing the game. I mean, like, I'm, I'm giga retired, right? How many games have I played this season so far? I've played 200 here, 220 there. Or sorry, 250. So I've played, five, I've played like over 500 games this season. And I'm like... What, that's like in two months? And I'd barely play? Yeah, I used to play at least 4K a season, bro. At least. Yeah, I, I really like... Uh, Dom retiring equals challenger, he is the GOAT. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy I did the challenger grind this year. Dude, when we get back, bro, I'm, I'm so excited to play, like, back on my main account when I get back to NA, because all my champions... Like, I think Skarner is gonna, Skarner's gonna be a champion that works with like how i played the game so like skarner's good volibear is good rek is good udir is good like all my champions are good right now interesting to see you know if it's going to be actually like on hit kaisa or if it's going to be ap then more ap style build there's so many different builds that people are doing there's the shiv kraken okay so we get a talia kaisa nautilus okay so i like this from 100 thieves they're going with the angle that i was hoping for them to go for which is they draft buttons sure apa is playing his zigs but i'd much rather have quid have the ability to impact the game than to, to have him try to scale versus APA because APA can just play a matchup that maybe is winning and you know whatever like maybe Quid wins a losing matchup and he's up 10 CS on APA that's not going to win the game what's going to win the game is if he's able to actually like take the fact that he's winning lane 
yeah. roam around the map, can, can really outplay him in skirmishes yeah. and get ahead and carry it like that. They're going to grab some sort of poke or anything like that from Sniper. Like if Sniper was playing Jace top and then they have Jace plus the AP Kaisa build. By how I play the, really the game, do you mean having no hands? Solo poke? I have hands. I got some hands. I think the way I play, when I say like the way I play the game, what I mainly mean is like, like I, I like playing champions that get ahead early and keep that lead. It doesn't matter what, what the champion is. Like I played a lot of Belveth too. Like that's something like, I like playing champions that are naturally stronger than, than other champions early game and just like take that lead and just snowball the entire game. Just never let up and try to win the game before other people get strong. I've never been a player that like enjoyed scaling. I was gonna say I feel like it might just be Sante and Four, even though you know they could just go jungle, just because it feels like pretty highly prioritized. Nice. Okay, so we got Rex, uh, Renekton and Gragas banned. Volibear taken from for Umpty. Yeah. All right, what is going to be the top jungle here? I don't know. I don't know if Cassante is the is the angle, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Cassante is the angle. I mean, you probably just go Xin Zhao because everything else is like banned. <laughs> Jarvan, I guess Jarvan, I guess Jarvan is fine versus Zaya. I just don't really like Jarvan into Volibear and I don't like Jarvan into Ziggs that much. I am so ready for this. You're gonna get way more action from him early on. Yeah. Also play a bit of Karthus. Yeah, but Karthus is like another champion that like gets ahead and you want to just like snowball the whole game. Jax blind for Sniper. Okay, what does Impact play into this? I mean, there's definitely counters to Jax that are up right now. I just don't know if Impact would play anything that's like a Giga counter. Like Gragas is banned, Renekton is banned. I mean, things that are like Giga counters to Jax are generally um, like just mages and stuff. Like I remember uh, Azir is, is out right now, but I remember Azir versus Jax was like Giga unplayable for Jax. Um, yeah, I mean, like, Kennen has always been really good into Jax. It's another champion. I mean, these matchups are all playable for Jax if you understand how to play the wave, the waves in uh, the early levels. If you play the first three waves to just push with your E, you can normally, like, tempo base and actually play these matchups because you do have a push advantage versus range champs, but generally range champs are just hard for Jax. Just not as much as the last one. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of I kinda like it. Uh, actually, Jack sucks now. I mean, Jax is not as good as it was, but it's still like, it's not bad. Like a lot of the trades operate the same way. Like the one through nine is pretty much the same. The main difference between Jax now and old Jax is that before you'd hit Divine Sunder and then you just like auto win from that point. Jax is just no longer like that. You're not playing for your Sunder or Spike. You are just playing to like outlane. Jarvin, something I've kind of been wanting to see him pull out after seeing it in um, LEC primarily, but we've seen it here and there globally as well. Uh, and then the APA Ziggs, his only loss yeah. on this champion was actually 200 Thieves in their week one, day one matchup. And for me, if this adaptation doesn't work for 100 Thieves, it's looking incredibly grim for the rest of the series because they 100% agree with Jet. But I like their adaptation. Like, this is the proper adaptation. I mean, this makes sense to me. I don't like their initial approach, but I think that they corrected well. I'm excited, man. Hopefully, we get a more explosive early game in this one. Last game was uh, pretty fast overall in terms of the time that it took for the Nexus to boom. But like we were talking about, even in that game, for the first what is the tempo base? Uh, essentially, it just means that you just it's like cheater recalling, but essentially, what it means is that you base for items and you just like you base when it's your time. We're, we're like you're abusing time. Like, so for example, you push in multiple waves, you crash the waves, the other guy has to spend time catching the wave, and while he's spending time catching the wave, you're basing. Yeah. buying an item uh, and walking back to the lane so you're using like the time advantage that you've created to do things that make your game easier so then when you get back to lane what ends up happening if you play like Jax or Uter or any of these champions that really abuse tempo basing is that you essentially get to base for free you come back to lane you are up an item and then they're gonna have to expend teleport in order to uh, like match your item advantage W's and then we kind of just the game blew up by that bot fight. So I think this this game we picked a little bit more aggressive mid jungle where they they can fight more and I think Quick can have a bigger impact in the game and we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, thank you very much. Back to you guys at the desk. I think 
the mid jungle is the key mm -hmm. there. Even though Maokai Jace is a good mid jungle duo, it's not Quid River. I need to read this chat. <laughs> okay. Scrim the last game, Scrim uh, Hunter T. This game or Stage Hunter T? Stage low, bro. Time to focus up. Wasn't last game. Okay. Team does the best with mid jungle making plays early, right? Like they. I like how Sniper is just calling. He's 17 years old, calling people little bro. Oh my god, I'd be so triggered. Impact's about to be fucking third. Wait, is Impact 30 yet? No, he's not. And did not call him River for a game. He's like what 29. Um, Holy so shit! Impact's twenty nine. Should be very comfortable piloting. Yeah, I do wonder though if they're going to be able to punish Ziggs though, because yep. I don't think APA needs to shove. He can very easily just clear waves at his turret. Also, if he does get dove on by everyone, he's going to just alt himself and deal a significant amount of damage in the fight, which in theory Yon would then be able to clean up. So I think. Both of them are defaulting to comfort, which is really interesting since the very first time they played this year was Oof. the APA Ziggs comfort pick and the Sniper Riven comfort pick. So some similarities here in game two of their first playoff series against each other. It's three minutes and um, team 29 year old still running the region. And yeah, what the fuck's wrong with that, bro? See if he can't get something on quid. Impact is pretty much. Uh, oh, oh, oh my God. OK, I'm um, T. I don't mind it, bro. I don't. I don't mind it. They've got the damage they need. Back up at the top side, the impact and sniper. I don't mind it at all. So you see what what Impact's doing here. The reason why Impact is trading so much here is he's not letting this wave crash because if he doesn't take this trade, then Impact, then uh, Sniper will be able to crash the wave, and with that wave, then Sniper would be able to base. And now that he has Doran Shield, this is actually like a winning situation for Impact. He's created a really good situation for himself in the lane. Where now Sniper's gonna have to base, and they're both gonna have to TP. He can't even like cry. He can't even hit these minions. I don't think impact will just kill him. Literally set your clock at like three minutes, and Umti is doing something in the opponent's jungle. Yeah, and he's the one, even though he was down one camp, that really benefits APA. Because even if he has to play the rest of the lane phase conservatively, he's gonna be hitting his item power spike. Okay, no pots for APA. Shouldn't need them though in this lane. Favorite style of jungling. The satchel for vision, bro. He's a fucking Ziggs master. The Ziggs God himself. Playing against the enemy team, and Umpty seems to subscribe. When are they gonna stop giving APA his champions? I mean, they didn't ban any the first game, but I think that like, if he plays Talia game one and he wins, you kind of have to give him his champions. Throwing all their bans towards bottom lane, and let's see how much this game mirrors last game because you can see in the bottom lane already they are shoved up. They want to be able to reset because then core would run out. Experience is showing. Yeah, no, but this is like, this is why impact is so good. He just like understands. Ex he, he's so good at understanding what the enemy top laner wants to do and then just counterplaying it and being like, okay, this is what I need to do to make sure that he doesn't get conditions that he wants. Like he just has really good, like understanding of matchups, bro. Impact is, is literally one of the smartest people you'll talk to about league. Umpty's pathing was not great there, to be honest, but I mean, they did get it, get out the flash. I guess it's fine. Impact will legit have solo kill angle, though. We will get the flash, but again, I really have enjoyed as we see those grubs get started up. River will be able to respond. And Cordy J didn't make it back to base, though, so Umpty's going to have to run. Umpty is kind of running it down on purpose here. Yeah, he's just running it down on purpose. That might not be the right play. Quinn's making his way over. He's just beyond dead. His team should just leave him. Whatever, man. Just whatever. APA? Oh, he almost got it. Yeah, that is uh, that is not good play from from Umpty there. No flash. He just walks to the grubs and kills himself. Is he in feeding? Yeah, he's in feeding. Right, where Core was not able to rotate up ideally like they would have wanted uh yeah. get that reset and have him there for that fight and then APA was not really able to get in around the backside mm -hmm. of the pit either um so that fight ends up going 100 these way it's pretty tragic too because APA was level six I thought maybe Team Liquid would get a little more aggressive but mm -hmm. I think clearly once Umpty was in the pit someone in their comms just said leave because <laughs> they, they just didn't all that early I, I think there was a Umpty Dumpty okay bro uh, if they all right man it, but the timing just didn't sync up and I think they expected River to concede those grubs, so 
got a little bit confused there and now umpty is just back on objectives once again yeah umpty going after that first drake Alo's gonna see him so they know that team liquid is at least beginning this attempt river is nearby but he does not seem to want to try to contest this at least right now core jj and yan also both making their way down to the site and it doesn't look like hundred thieves will be ready to contest this because meech is still all the way back in base coming down bottom lane Another Sky Splitter just to keep chunking the Drake down, keep this pace up. Even if they don't have Zion Rakan standing there beating it down with a bump, he has absolutely no danger whatsoever taking this. Volibear stays so healthy, clearing out these neutral objectives. And there it is, first Drake for TL. Yeah, and I think you could tell because Talia was also resetting off of that. Look at the CS difference top. Bex has been able to hold the wave after the gank. Dredge line finds core JJ. River was coming around. He has level six. The cataclysm yeah. on the Jarvan makes these ganks so much stronger. It is one of the advantages Hundred Thieves currently enjoy. Is that Umpty is only level five. River having the <laughs> River had the flag ready down, so he tried to queue off of it. And I'm just really he checked the bush with E initially. Again in these team fights, he's been such a signature Jarvan player, yeah. and I think one of his biggest strengths this year was his ability to team fight on anything. Just targeting out opponent carries so efficiently. I need Look to at top lane right now. It's completely fucked. A lot of to the bot lane as we he got to crash his wave on a good timing for him. Sniper was forced to base. Like, oh man, it's such a slaughter top lane. We'll see. Look at the item gap too. They have the ulti for the Zaya, so now they Clean from River. Ayla finds him again. Beautifully done from 100 Thieves there. It took him a while, but River was patient. Yeah. He got mm -hmm. the Gromp in the meantime, and then all it takes is one hook, one kill. Team Liquid now behind in the kill count. I do think that's a bit of a mistake from Core JJ. I think they yeah. could assume that River was taking the Gromp. There's a reason for him to stick around that profits him. So the fact that if he is there, you were dead, I think they needed to delay that at least another wave before they tried to retake that bush. Mm -hmm. but like, Spanish, you're here. You can talk shit about MDK concept. all you want. Yeah, Bro, I'm going to be honest. Without your permission, I was already doing that shit. The biggest adjustment I've been on that. Made going into this game too is just even what do you mean if I want? Bot side control. Yeah, as we saw, I think the other big thing is just getting River involved where he can make an impact, right? Where it's not necessarily just... Not that... I think mini waves are very important, uh, but also <laughs> not just resetting the wave, not just allowing someone to get a back, but also being able to get a kill, steal a little bit of the enemy's carries and be able to set up bot lane and do well. Top lane's kind of just looking like this again, though. There's not a whole lot going up in top lane. I don't feel like we're probably going to get a ton. One of the big differences I am looking at this time is just some of the scaling potential. Last game, you know, we had the incredible Renekton plays coming out of impact this time. He's on the Cassante, but Jax on sniper. Never mind It's not even about that. Anymore. I mean, that's just a rundown, bro. It's just a straight-up rundown Games looking much better for 100 thieves You can tell how much better they are when they have the ability to just like kill the enemy, you know Dude, I 100% agree with you. I literally am making the same point, but I think it's a very, I mean, yeah, I just think it's an important point to make. Like that, I think more so than traditional 5v5 team fighting, that's how they're going to try and pull ahead in this. The main question here is like, are they going to be able to win with the fact that their top laner like can't breathe right now? Impact is legit just suffocating him top lane. Like Jax is actually a really hard champion to carry through a game if he's really behind. He's at 44 CS in 10 minutes, bro. Did move down and contest that, but Rivers already got those first two grubs. Now the dodge coming out bottom lane. Yon and Core JJ are gonna start kind of clean. Up. He's ready to follow it up. Dropping the tower aggro with the Zaya ulti. Yon did not want to end up in a oh, spot. impact's dead. That's huge. Holy shit, they actually killed impact. I mean, he has CP, so it's not like the end of the world for him, but it's like it's so nice for Sniper that he has two kills here, bro. He should be down way more gold than he is. Chunks him by about half, but no real kill threat. This game's heating up, yeah. but there is one big uh, pattern in this series is when the second set of grubs are up, Team Liquid Oh, Impact's going to try to kill him. <laughs> he didn't TP the turret. He's TPing to try to, to pull the kill him. That dive. The counterplay, though, was bigger this time. Oh, old man strength, bro. Sniper survives with the counter strike for oh, he got the shutdown, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, Sniper is just getting gapped so hard this game. For this game, as we see... Uh, Impact getting a solo kill for himself, but also just both teams have been w way more involved where their yeah. junglers mm. going towards their lanes. We see more scrapping over vision. Yeah, I I'll also say that, you know, Maokai versus Rel is going to be less exciting than Volibear versus Jarvan. True. Yeah. So the um, impact on Tilted is definitely helping the pilots be more aggressive. I wouldn't be Tilted <laughs> in this game, bro. 
<laughs> He's so far ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it makes sense. There's nothing wrong with that statement. Just no one ever uses it. IRL experience like, gap. Yeah, like the arrow, I mean, there's no I shame in getting fucking stop. packed into a blunt by impact. It's good. I just wasn't Literally the NA top lane. <laughs> Goat. It's, it's like, by far. Like, no one's even no, close no, to him when it comes to NA top lane, historically. The actual NA top lane goat, bro. Sometimes you just get absolutely smurfed on. No shame in it. You need this experience. So far for 100 thieves, whereas on the other side, Umpty is 0 2 and 1. So that mm. early game engine, not he's just the goat. Yep, he is Tiano, just the goat. Whereas 100 thieves, I talked about it a little bit last game. This is the kind of start that they need to, oh. have to be successful. Is hey, look for something here. Wind doesn't have his item yet. From TL on this Drake, so APA does. APA has uh, ult here too. Definitely fightable from TL. They're just waiting for ults on uh, Zaya and Rakan. That's why they're waiting. Now Core has ult. They can look to send it. They can look to send it. Enemy team is chunked. Okay, River gets it. Well played by River. Holy shit, River's a fucking beast. Hey, we're scrapping, we're scrapping. Oh, big. Oh, the W is huge from Quid. Okay. Damn, Umpty didn't ult. Umpty was so focused on trying to smite the Drake, he didn't ult. He got completely shut on by River there. River not only outsmited him, he also CC'd him and started the fight. This was huge. Look. Boom. And Umpty just gets one shot off the CC. Okay, bro. Number one, Jat, stop copying what I'm saying, bro. This is the second time now. I know I'm in your ear right now, and you just have the stream live. Stop fucking copying what I'm saying. This guy's dead as hell. Sniper's trying to run. Umpty chases him down and just bites a hole through him. Oh, I I'm wanted more coach reaction yeah. there. Yeah, Same. that was great. <laughs> I wanted to see where Grayson was going. It looked like his head was about to explode. 100 Thieves is right in the 100. Or Golden Blue's right it's the in the third time? Wait, is it really the third time? He okay, true. Just, uh, he's having a great time. 100 Thieves now. He's going to hit me with the so fish sensor or something, and I'm going to freak the fuck out. Earlier, but they left the last one because of just everything that was happening around the map. So they did not hit the five grub break point. They're 500 gold ahead. It doesn't look like Team Liquid is going to challenge for this Herald either. No, and I think Team Liquid right here is going to try and get some Turret Gold on his Ziggs. This is the stage yeah. of the game where they're trying to play as much macro as possible. Uh, a lot of times in their Ziggs games, APA will pick up uh, basically enough to get... How do you consider this a top gap with such jungler help? What do you mean such jungler help? You can see already shadowing in the bottom there as they're kind of giving up the... Like, because the conditions that impact... Like, the reason why... Umzi has an option to gank top is because Impact outplayed him. Because Impact put the lane in a situation because there's there's conditions that both players are trying to meet in lane, right? Like this is how you have to think about it. Well, I'll say, I'll explain it after this. Oh, he doesn't actually get the turret explosion here. But um, okay. So there's two conditions that are that people are trying to meet in lane. Cassante is trying to stop the three or four wave crash into allowing, which would um, allow Jax the base. And Jax is trying to play for the three to four wave crash because Impact was able to force bases on the same time and Jax is not up items or TP or whatever. Then the lane is in a spot where Impact can then call his jungler and they can gank Sniper. And then also it's like, it's not even like there's been some massive discrepancy in terms of pressure because yeah, sure, they got that gank where Umpty yeah, burned I mean, Sniper's Flash, really but then Umpty into the free kill to Sniper right after it grubs. And then after that, sure, Umpty ganked him once, but Impact also got ganked and died once to the jungler. So it's like... Yeah, mid turret definitely yeah. more highly valued by pro teams than bot turret, even if you got more gold for bot. Not some like massive uh so nicely done by then. And we haven't really difference, I would say much because Sniper's been able to get two kills. But that's a fifty CS gap. Yeah. yeah, I think we can't ignore it for any longer. There's been a lot going on in that top lane where Impact is winning the wave by wave trading. Sniper is still in the game though because of the two kills, only a thousand gold. Down. Oh, they're on the quit. Oh, did they get him? They didn't get him. Impact can ult. Impact is gonna have to ultimate through or no? 
as Meech jumps into the fight with the ghost ready to go. Sniper's fighting back, and Meech Okay, impact's on the run. Okay. It's a fucking scrap, bro. It is a complete fucking scrap. The whole time, Yun is just like sitting mid, though. He's hitting mid turret here. Is River gonna try to 1v1 him? Is River trying to 1v1 him right now mid? I wanna see what's happening. It looks like he's trying to fight him, bro. They're fighting mid, bro! Go mid! Okay, thank you, thank you. I gotta close my fucking window because it's about to be 10 p.m. Oh shit, we're gonna get deep to get that first kill. I think the fact like there was a moment there where there were only three TL people on screen and 500 thieves people on screen. It just turned 10 p.m. I'm just gonna go to jail, nice. Is deep in the mid lane turret. They're going for what you call a fast play, trying to make this happen before the team arrives. But 100 thieves actually all get there. So the power of the Cassante with the 50 CS advantage just soloing Quid in the face of River. A shutdown on uh, Quid ended up dying for it. I guess it's fine. Plus 450 onto Ziggs. He's going to be a problem in this game. Yeah, he's 3 1 and 0. He's, uh, again, like, what I'm really looking for from TL as we see him... Oh, Young got hooked? Oh, he actually gets the buff. Oh, he actually got the ult off, bro. How did he get ult off here? I thought he was just hard CC'd. Wait, when did Meech get four kills? The fu uh, it must have been that Drake fight, no? How the fuck did he get four kills? Ziggs is getting free top turret during this. Drake should just be going to TL here. Man, this game is scrappy. 18 kills in 17 minutes and 50 seconds. And before that fight broke out, what I was going to talk about was how APA was good, just going to go push top, right? Because what TL want to do is, again, get the Zig inside lanes, mm -hmm. get turrets taken as many as possible. Ziggs alone with a turret is not usually a good time for that turret. Um, and after that fight, TL are now able to rotate towards the Drake as well. Two to one over 100 Thieves and Drake. Bro, how shit our energy? Yeah, they're pretty bad. APA has Sucks. Sucks. So much gold for himself off those turrets. Game is over when Sniper hits 100 CS, true. Items completed. First player in the game to do so with the very Sniper will hit 100 CS anytime. It's going to be about any day now. Carrying these team fights in the mid game, not yet yawn. So look to see if Ayla or Sniper or anyone can get some CC on APA. Then Meech would fly in for the assassination on the Kaisa because I think if they fail to do that, Team Liquid's going to have a lot more damage in these team fights. <laughs> <laughs> Flag, do 20 damage uh, i like it bro the mind game man that's great <laughs> all right so we're just about to the point of the game where baron's gonna come online this of course can make a game that's already this snappy that much more go. dangerous River do they think he had no flash here they must have thought yun had no flash here if they the went on him like this with like tp and flash ult damage of the cataclysm entirely that's worth it though right yeah. no yeah. flash cataclysm can still catch the zaya in the next fight there's already two drakes for Team Liquid. They're going to want to move to Solar. Bro, how fucking soon. strong is this Cassante, by the way? Look at the item gap game. top lane. Holy fuck. Being up 1 0 in the series, and APA having yet another pretty good game when a lot of people thought this was going to be a massive just mismatch between Quid and APA. But so far, APA definitely having a big series. Ayla was looking for something there as the Ziggs clears yet. Even though um, Jarvan ulti, Ziggs has Seraphs here. I think this is a pretty bad fight from. Ah, never mind. Actually, ended up being good. They killed Yon. Yon didn't ult here. What happened to Yon's ult? Wait, what happened to Yon's ult? I thought Yon was going to be able to ult here. I need to rewatch this. Because the beginning of the fight, I thought it was pretty good for TL because everything was engaged onto APA, but APA still had, um... He still had Seraphs and Flash. Let's see. Let's see. I, I didn't see a replay because I wasn't watching how Yon was dying. And that's obviously really important. They have, they have a Ziggs TP here. This is not a free Baron, by the way. This is not a free Baron at all. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. He's got it. Boom. Nope. Missed it. This team can can still scrap a little bit though. Oh, Quid doesn't die. I mean, Ayla's dead, but it doesn't really matter. 
Kaya kills the Nautilus. Sniper's trying to get away. River doing the same. They split up. They go opposite directions, hoping only one of them will get caught. I mean, that was a that was just a flip. It was just a flip. Quinn ended up getting it. But yeah, that wasn't free at all. I mean, like you have two people die here. It was essentially a 50-50, but 100 Thieves needed to make this play. I gotta watch Yon in this in this fight. Let's see, let's see what he does. Because I don't feel like there's a way that he should die so easily. Did, like, core into him or something? I mean, he just doesn't ult and, like, what? Like, wait, he had ult, right? He not a, like, yeah, he, he had ult for sure. He actually just turbo griefed it, I think. Maybe maybe the, the angle was still good from 100 Thieves, but, I mean, he definitely could have got way more damage off. And then this is interesting. Umpty was actually just trying to buy as much time as possible for the Ziggs to arrive because Team Liquid was thinking if we don't steal it, Jesus, bro, straight up flip. To zero, almost impossible for him to steal that one. Yeah. One of the cruelest jokes. I mean, when did he ult? How could it not? Because it showed like that it was cooling down, but like when did he ult? I feel like he didn't ult anything. I'm going back. That 700 gold additional didn't go over to Yon at the end of that fight. Really mm -hmm. smart by Sniper to get that execute. Yon already got the 450 from picking up Ayla. The extra 700 would have been like an 1100 gold injection onto Zaya. Oh, it's actually on one second cooldown. Wait, when did he ult? get that though, and Team Liquid is always looking to make plays. Quid managing to get away with a Weaver's wall there as Team Liquid. Wait, it shows that his ult is up. Dude, this shit, they need to fix this shit. Wait, or is. I talked about it just very briefly. Or is, earlier, is that down? Wait, the ult is down here, but it's so hard to like this. They gotta change the size of the icons. Like, look at this, bro. That shit looks like it's fucking up, but it's actually down. This guy is rapidly evolving into a problem. Yeah, as we see him TPing top side to actually go get that turret. Uh, and like here, bro. <laughs> look at this. That's down, bro. This ult is down, by the way. That ult is down. Yeah. You can't tell that shit's down, bro. They gotta fix the icons. River could pull the trigger at any moment, though, especially when Yon still doesn't have a flash if they've timed that. As soon as Yon's flash is back up, it almost gives Team Liquid an advantage for the next team fight because they have such. To be honest, I can't see shit. Yeah. Instantly bursting the carries, I think Team Liquid would end up winning the fight. So they have to really be careful about this next initiation, as the dragon is spawning soon and Hunter Thieves want to take control of River. It's all ten. Hey, impact is dying. He didn't get his W off before the the Talia CC. Hundred thieves. They know that they chunked out that front liner, but now they got to be careful as Umpty looks for his own possible angle here. Forces a little bit of poke. That's a big part of the Jarvis. Ah, bro, we got to block this for the boy impact. Oh, they went right onto River. Wait, do River get CC'd there? You're going. All right. Are you Ubering or walking? Be safe. Okay, okay. Uh, they ended up pulling the trigger anyway. Oh, right onto Meech? Oh, Meech is just alive? Like, what the fuck? Alright, why did he kill himself, though? <laughs> Wait, like, it was, like, nice that he lived, and then he just killed himself. They could have just got free Drake. What are the priorities of these teams, man? Because <laughs> that was a 1-0 death fight for Team Liquid where they can get the third Drake, but they go for more. Watching this again, you think Like, look at the Ziggs ult, too. Like, the Z Oh, man, this was an ugly fight. Literally, like, zero abilities hit in this entire fight. River's too low by the time he ults in, so they burst him out. And then Sniper re-engages, but has absolutely no follow-up. So he, too, gives a big bounty over to Yon. This is where team okay, watch Meech at the end of this fight. I mean, Kord just misses the W. Alright, Meech is just fine. He can just walk away, but he just like, ease this way. He's like, I'm going off! He's like, hmm, maybe I should not have ran it down mercilessly. Hmm, yes. It's time to fight for this dragon. That's the nice part about having the dragon still up. We get another fight for it. Core JJ looking for the grand entrance on Sniper. Ain't gonna find him. Oh, Ayla. That's a little crazy. Oh, Quid is inting. Quid is inting. Quid inted here, no? I mean, Quid is like 1 HP. There's no way that there's no way they're losing this fight, right? Oh my god, they actually lost the fight. This is such an impossible fight to lose. How the fuck did they lose this, man? Alright, do they get Baron? They won't get Baron off this. These fights are so scrappy. 
Ultimate Thieves end up taking out the Drake. Uh, Wait, did did Yon have ult or not have ult, bro? I I like what the fuck is going on here? Team in season. He he used it, right? He used it in the fight. Didn't he use it on Nautilus ult here? It looks like he has it on my screen, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeon used ult. Because everyone dives in like, here, okay. Kill sniper, and I don't even know. Is it bugged? Sniper and quid. Is quid the ulti shit bugged? One shots Yon with the help of Meech. Oh man, Yon is so bad actually. But um, that was the turning point in yeah, this fight is over. Is it bugged, bro? Because look at this, man. Look at this. You're telling me that's down? That's down. That's freshly down. It must just be bugged. It must just be bugged. Like, like how the fuck is that down? You're to no another fight. Now. Yeah, we're we're going full LPL mode, baby. Three thousand gold lead for hundred thieves. Team Liquid slipping a little bit here. They don't want to fall too much further behind because we're gonna start getting to the point where you can't just take random YOLO fights in the middle of nowhere if you're five thousand. Hundred percent bugged. Okay, bonus. it's just bugged. River Jarvin definitely has been showing up so far here. He doesn't really have any of the kills himself, but he's got perfect twenty out of twenty kills. It has to be bugged. It looks the same. That's what I'm saying, bro. I can't tell when this when fucking ults are up or down with this small ass icon, and if it's bugged on top, like it's such a useless thing because like you train yourself when you watch a lot of league to like look at these things and it try to interpret the information quickly like here i know that it like logically i, I remembered him using it on nautilus ult but it's just hard to fucking tell man placing that pink clearing out vision 7tv took dom wide from us what i see dom wide right here core just core just face planted into the wall Okay, they're just kiting. Bro, these Ziggs are not good. Sniper's just, like, Sniper's fighting impact on the side. Yeah. That might push them over the edge in terms of their ability to just press go on anything and win the fight. Meech, extremely strong at this point. He has one item, nice. I mean, Umpty played terrible this game. He really ran it down. Like, the, the conditions of lanes were so good in pretty much all three lanes here. And Umpty just made a bunch of mistakes in a row, bro. He fucked up in the, like, third Drake fight where he didn't ult. He inted for grubs. He walked into enemy jungle level seven and died. Like, this game was pretty much all on Umpty in my mind. Additionally, like you want constant damage coming out from the poke from TL, but they just have not been able to do that with how, as we see the Ziggs ults come through, uh, how 100 Thieves have been able to split this. I feel like we just yeah. got to stop trying to Ziggs ult one person. We got to just ulti the clumps. Players all across that line. Like you're never hitting the whole team. They're almost diving separate targets uh, during the same team fight. So they're not grouping up for the AOE. And now they're just trying to push with this Baron. And this is much more of what we expected from 100 Thieves, right? Like, yeah. This is the kind of comp that they're really, really comfortable piloting. It has a lot of engage. It has a lot of ways that you can pick apart 5v5 team fights and isolate carries, isolate the targets you want. We've already talked about how good River is at doing that. Um, I'd want to call out Quid in terms of everything that River scores is insane. That's the Jarvan classic, bro. That is the Jarvan classic. He's literally just has 100% KP. not been able to do on the side of TL. Sniper continuing the split push pressure off to the side has the Sterex gauge to help him survive in these big fights that have just been happening non-stop so far this game. 38 kills in under 30 minutes. Sniper with enough pressure here thanks to River making his entry guarantees that Impact does not want to stick around and continue trying to defend that tier 2 turret. 8,000 gold is yeah. the lead for 100 Thieves. And I think they're actually not going to try and get Wait, much is Drake wide gone too? Up, even though there's a minute 20 seconds. Or is it just left. Dom wide that's he gone? He never gives up so if he sees a play He's just gonna fly in for it, but I think the smart play here for Hunter Thieves is reset, go for the next Drake, and then start beating them with their wallets. That's four completed items on both Quid and Meech, compared to three completed items on APA and Yawn. So that's gonna give. Them oh, nice! Someone just reported it. Nice. Upcoming team I just can't be wide. Nice. When Yamato and Drake so spread their butthole live on Twitch, it's all time, good. So the second I will dominate does, we gotta report the yeah, mode and take it off the site. Well played, man. Seriously. This top side, but another thing that you'd already pointed out earlier and is now even more true is that this entire map is just so scary 
uh, for TL at this yeah. point in terms of when they could potentially make a play. And we probably have a Cancel culture has gone too far. That's what I'm saying. About the series because of the 38 kills that are happening in 31 minutes. But this Drake is going to be given over to 100 Thieves. No contest from Team Liquid. Game one was very much about APA and Yawn showing up, yep. I would say. And then River not being able to have a big impact in this game. And we were discussing in between games like... What is going on with River in the playoffs? Because he's played so <laughs> many champions that are just different styles than what he was dominating the LCS with. But back again in this game, it's like a very, very strong mid-jungle 2v2. And River can be very creative in the way that he plays team fights, And it just works so much better. Even though Meech is having a pretty good game on Kai'Sa, but this, the start of everything, I feel like, has been this Jarvan and Talia making things happen. Yeah, it's the go button from River. And the, uh, to be fair, the go button from Ayla as well. Team Liquid wants to try to get red here, okay? They actually end up getting the global red. Pretty nice, I guess, but... Mm. I, don't, I just don't know how the game is winnable. They just need to, like, AoE. They, they just need to AoE the fuck out of 100 Thieves, that's it. Look at how strong Quid is. I really don't like the Horizon Focus, though. I feel like when you already have... When you have Seraphs and Leandres, like, why do you need... A horizon focus on top how team liquid to be able to make it back into the game because at this isn't it better to just go death cap void right there death cap crypt bloom i think it is personally really i just don't think you need the um the horizon focus a little bit of trepidation with how they approach they might actually just wait for the next baron and we could have another small period of inaction all right the zigs effect sinking in having to really take a while Ooh. to break through this little oh, dude man. he's got you buy for a, for a big fight i mean even if he bought it for like a big fight like uh, i don't know like he should just be building towards something else right like it should just be double large rod in the big fight instead of rise and focus still a lot of ap bro we know that River double large rods 140 ap if you i don't think you're winning a fight because of horizon focus gapping double large rod so how much money is horizon focus i mean also just builds out different components horizon focus 2700 gold for 90 ap 20 ability haste and the hyper shot passive double large rod is 140 AP, um, no ability haste, no passive, but I mean, still pretty fucking good, no? Exposes your mid lane very deeply. They might teleport in though. Like this is this is a trap from 120. River just went around behind and cut the wave. That was the response, and I really like that from Hundred Thieves. They're saying, all right, if you're just gonna try to completely. Large rod is 70 AP, not 60. I don't know why people are saying 120. No minions, no dice. The push if you say 120, you are just wrong. On both side lanes are it is 140. 8,600 gold. Really, just trying to take control over the entirety of the map. Yeah, that was a smart response from River, and then obviously they have these side lanes set up so that TL. Our large rod is respond, broken. Right. Um, well, 50 we'll gold, 70 AP. Continue to do this until Baron is up shortly as the next objective we can fight over although Ayla's going in yeah, 115 right final offer okay fine 115 river just mega inted by the way right before baron this is a horror for them they just shouldn't fight bro like teal don't need to like send this you don't need to send it. oh my god we're gonna die here oh my god oh meech wait is he doing it or is he not doing it dude tl actually had such a winning condition here they had such a winning condition if they just backed off this fight after killing the jungler and just went to Baron, they would just have a 5v4 at Baron. But they chased into 100 Thieves and they just got punished by Talia and, and uh, Kai'Sa. Also, this is the, the gap in items. Look at the Talia item gap. And then just hid so that he continue to end here, I guess. And then APA Zonyas? The, the bigger question for me is why does he even have a Zonyas? Oh, Umdi bought a GA? He sold his Sunder for GA to try to stall this. I kind of like it, bro. He, so, he, he sold his Sundered Sky for a GA just to try to stall it. Based. He ran it down mercilessly this game, though. If they didn't chase there, they they, they could have leveraged this into a really positive situation. Alright, bro. We're getting at least four games in this banger. 
uh, it does change how we look ahead, right? Because yeah. Talia now becomes a massive draft priority in addition to the bands. And now River has pulled out the Jarvan as well, which... 1-9 into... Dude, it was... It, like, I don't really care about the score, right? Like, the score is kind of... Kind of, like, irrelevant to me. It was just the gameplay was... Was bad. The gameplay, just, he inted multiple times throughout the game. Having Meech have a big game on Kaisa ended up being incredibly important. We, like we can go back through it. We can just take this, right? Wait, what is the quality here, bro? Okay, so just look at all these ints. Little int montage from t from Umpty. Int number one, right here. Doing grubs. Why is he doing grubs, bro? Why is he doing grubs? What's going on? Why is he doing grubs? Complete int. No reason for it. Complete int. No prio, and he goes to grubs when all his lanes are completely fine. Next int. Here it is. Next stint. He has ult and everything. Has ult and flash. Doesn't use either. Dead. All right, okay. When's the int after that? Here we go. Int after that. Dies without ulting, flashing anything at this Drake fight. Oh, he's overly tunneling on, on securing Drake here with his E smite, and he's not playing the fight. Whereas River is is playing the fight, but then simultaneously also um is out smiting him on the Drake. So yeah. If you're playing an early game champion like Volibear, and then in the first 12 minutes you have like three major misplays, you've fucked the game for yourself. The rest of the game is just suffering. After this, it's very hard for him to play. Like you you could barely play after this. But if you do this, it's kind of fucking doomed. All right, go to game three after. We'll play the ads. Use the restroom. Our game, it felt like it was. And yet, was a weird and one. yet they were still, they winning were still winning in the early game until this fight right here. This one was so big. Quid right there. He got that seismic shove. There's a multiple times where he's getting these seismic shoves on uh, people chasing. Like that one, he could have just walked up and queued him. No. Yeah. Like that was like such a weird ult and he traps himself behind the wall because he traps himself behind the wall then impact has to chase quit under the tower to actually get the kill so he ends up dying like this could have been an absolute wipe it felt like for tl if they play some of these fights better the jungle gap was actually enormous yeah but tl were still winning despite river going crazy in the early game a lot uh, of the, for a lot of it a lot of the gold was on apa zigs apa had quite a good game because of how they set him up early and i thought some of his team fights were great but as you can see from this point forward i thought meech took over a yeah. lot of these team fights this guy right here where's the highlight thing we knew that circle here we go get in there uh it's a little he late now because he's them after the fight <laughs> yeah. he over a lot of these highlights as he dies in the middle here of we go what i got him it was spotlight Where'd he go? Where are we spotlighting? He's wrong place. He's down Woo! the bottom. There he is. There he is. First time. First time spotlighter. Oh, wait. What's Core JJ doing? Some drunk spotlight. Where are we going? Oh, back on Meech. Oh. We're back on Meech. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> All right in the middle. Flashes out of the ultimate. Oh, this thing is fun. <laughs> yeah. Meech, Meech was really good in the team fight. Yeah. I, I think River clearly to me was the standout throughout the entire game because even when they were losing, I thought he was the one keeping them in it. But Meech was great in team fights. Quid had some big moments. Um, I thought this was a much sloppier game from TL than the first one. Obviously, yeah, I think MT played really bad, but there was also some moments, even in that that final fight, yeah. where they overchase in what was a winning fight into the Talia. They get multi-man flicked in. That kind of turned what was a one fight for TL into a lost one and the game ending. So just vibes on the LCS back, for sure. Probably TL will want back. All right, we're probably doing next game with uh, Yamato here. Rationale and be like, Dude, uh, next game with Yamato. How poorly we were playing like or at least how poorly umpty was playing on volibear bear you can at least come back and say the the comp still works like we still played well in the early game yep. around that mistake we just blame umpty go backstage back and say umpty you ran it the fuck down this game fully. i feel like umpty is the type of player who would like 100 percent admit if he ran it the fuck down he's like yeah i played like shit i'll just play better next like he's used to to, to running it down you know like he ran it down for years in korea he was playing well. I'm yeah. not blaming him. If anything, this is Umpty's comfort zone. Been able to deal with it. Sure. He'll take the blame easily. Riggs destroyers. Well, 100 Thieves have tied up the series on the rift, but last week, Emily put both their synergy and their drawing skills to the Yeah, you guys just watching my co-stream, probably. Like, oh, dumb, flamed my entire Welcome family. Because I'm minor misplayed. Nice. episode of Paint My Life For Real, or Draw My Life For Real. I'm joined by Awa, 
and Sniper, he gets 60 seconds Dumb to house. draw what is You're treating you any death threats? Uh, I mean, I haven't gotten more death threats than average, but I did. So yesterday I did an IRL stream with my girlfriend. We went, we did a beer tasting IRL stream. And we did get like a death threat in chat that was just like, just so blatant, bro. They were like, we know where you are. Oh, you're at this bar. You're at Zantan or Ek. I'm coming to kill you now. Like, we got a, just a very blatant one. It's not Jax because Jax has a staff. Ribbon. Nah. Bro. Jax has a staff? I thought you had a sword. Bro, bro, no, no, no way. No way he just said this. I thought you had a sword the entire time. I'm not even joking. He does the thing where he's like, imagine if I had a real weapon. Does it? Oh, bro. Oh my god. Okay. Pressure's on. Come on. Bro, what the frick is this? What the, bro? This is freaking worse than mine, but. Yeah, it was a dry death threat. Yeah, there was nothing on it, bro. I was such a good stream, enjoyed it. Like, we'll, we'll do other IRL streams when we're here. Is this a bird, but nice try? What, what even is this? Is this a dog? Oh, Warwick. It's Smolder. I was trying to draw a dragon face, right? I'm not. So Bro, there's no I'm way that's Smolder. I messed up, so it looks like a nose. So I was like, okay, but flames. And this, this is his mom. Nice try, nice try. Yeah, that is his mom. Oh my, my god. Face. That was, holy <laughs> shit. Now they're going to lose the series. Oh, I can tell I based off this, they're going to lose. It's not yeah, there's a bottom of it. Are these like dollar signs? Fun. Is it uh, owner? Like uh, close? It, it's not nature, right? Kraken's He's stream. Let's go! Let's, Let's go. go! I'm warning you, these last two are super troll. Okay. Troll. Oh god. I'm, I'm struggling to understand Snipes, bro. He's got his own view of the world. This one's like my best drawing so far. All right. Nocton ulting in a team fight. Uh, that, that's part of it. It's not, it's of not it. necessarily incorrect. 100 Thieves games five. Yes! Yes, you got it! Oh, you got it. You did it. The last game you played? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're so focused, huh? He's incredibly focused. Okay, what the frick are these? <laughs> it just looks like someone's like sleeping and they had like a nightmare. Bro, what the frick is this? I can't say. <laughs> okay, uh, nightmare. Wait, what is this? I just say close. Oh, sleep talking. No one's talking, so no. <laughs> Wait, no. What one's... is this? What is this then? Is it? Is it? Oh, oh, yeah. Bro, he's sleeping. Uh, it's a bad dream. That's a nightmare, bro. Bro, uh, you said <laughs> okay. close. Like, the last dream you had. Did they get the point? Did they say sure? The last Ooh, dream you had. How do you even draw that? Okay, these are kind of impossible, though. No? That's not bad. Thank you so much for taking time to join me in Draw My LCS Life in Real Life. Sniper, Ayla, thank you again. We'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye. <laughs>
really well, and that's that's what he can do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the LCS playoffs. We're here in the lower bracket, and we're all tied up with Team Liquid and 100 Thieves after a very, very violent game number two. Woo. Yeah, I think uh, this is 100 Thieves' window into the game. All right, draft. Let's get it. TL then we'll do this game with uh, Yamato. Team. I think they're okay, so we got a Vi Lee Sin ban by TL. I'm surprised the ban Lee Sin. Like, River Lee Sin, is it really well, that insane that it needs a ban? Because I feel like you'd rather just play, like, I mean, if Umti is comfortable playing Rel and Polar Bear and these types of champs, you'd be fine playing it into Lee. Uh, well, Where are my tired, bro? I took a nap and everything. I guess I didn't sleep much last night. I never sleep well when I drink. I drink, it's like three hours of sleep, wake up. I like woke up, I ate some food, came back, slept like another two hours, woke up again, slept another hour, bullshit sleep. Okay, Talia, pick away from Quid. First pick Talia. As we were talking about, Talia is such a monstrous pick for this series thus far, and APA did look really comfortable. Yeah. Shit, is Viper co streaming this? Um, it also Where's my homie Viper at? That pick from Quid, obviously, he's literally just watching his brother. The big question to me is whether kind of fucking based. Or we have had a bunch of his brother is just the goat or what? Fallen through draft completely. It's true. I think 100 Thieves would love to have Meech on Kaisa again, but I don't think it's a wise thing to just blind pick yeah. if you're going to go Kaisa Nautilus bot lane. So they have the Nautilus, and I think they're going to wait. Damn. The Quid Vagar. He just I loves this love champion for no reason, bro. Like, is this champion so actually well. good? Because yeah, I remember when they buffed it, I was looking at um Vagar V2's really, really uh, Twitter, and he just kept on saying that it was just garbage. What did they do? To see what the rest of their comp is Increase the AP ratio? That kind of zone control with the cage but it's not as similar by as five like percent and reduce the cooldown and then actually i think it was the first change that he thought was game bad like playoffs. the 30 so hp but i guess all these buffs sure combined i mean these are pretty solid bigger buffs see the support of hunter thieves they're pretty confident that this will be a good enough bot lane with which they can scale with smolder i don't remember the why no one plays Huey? i mean people do I play Huey. just these teams are not huge Huey teams i mean hunter thieves going for champions that can actually fight i like it much more quickly than a lot of other players do yeah. so it alleviates some of that extra what is river going to play here team to survive until he's at the point where he's achieved like, do you ban jarvin I mean, jarvin doesn't even look great here but do you just ban it anyway it very early 20 minutes but i will also say it is a like what else would um river want to play here they ban the senna and Zin maybe up because I think Meech wants to play Kaisa. This is a rookie who is very comfortable. All bear man, okay. Coming off a Kaisa win. Probably bans in. Where he can get his farm. Yeah. In smaller Giga nerf. This is 145. It's not Giga nerfed. No. It's nerfed a bit, but it's still playable. It's still fine. Uh, even though I don't think Umti had the best performance on it, he was really, really involved with lanes early. Both junglers were. Um, so taking that away, that early potential from TL is good. And then TL taking the Aatrox away from 100 Thieves as a potential mm. four pick that they would be comfortable blinding. All right, let's see what our last ban here is from the Thieves. The Trundle, okay. Mm. Not bad. I mean, Trundle could delete the Nautilus if he goes in, but that is a weirdly specific ban. Yeah. For them at this stage obviously they're trundle ban is because he wants to play zin and trundle can play into zin i guess something like lee sin if it was available because like it's where my stomach just made the loudest thing ever the jarvin is still there i think it's still an okay pick for river if he wants it so team liquid with an olaf ban sets up a top lane blind pick probably a blind pick renekton but that would leave jarvin open for river if he wants it and we'll see what river takes here sinjao Diego. It is All right, we're calling with Yamato after draft. How River has pivoted to a few of these more carry-oriented, mm -hmm. like. There's the Zinjao pick. I mean, I think it was really telegraphed. What is? Chat, you and I um, do you want to play into it then? Initial playoff champ pool to yeah. Milky Way. That would be fucking like, so the hype. Jungle, There's no chance though. The jungle, the Zinjao coming in. As we see the Skarner hover. Skarner. On. I don't see him. I, I know he's never gonna get locked in, but it's fun to see him. The could Skarner be locked in, bro. Literally could be locked in. I would not mind seeing a Skarner. 
I don't think Skarner is that bad. Dax is pretty good. I think Skarner actually has a has a use case. Pretty hard, but was still super effective in the game, and that's the thing that they were setting up with the Aatrox and the Olaf ban. Skarner's actually not bad against Kaisa because she tried to jump on you and then you pull her. You know, maybe it's a maybe. It's oh a, my true. God, bro! I can, what the fuck? I hope Crown Fsler isn't here. Because he loves APA, APA nuts. That's a crazy first message, bro. That is a crazy first message. Nice, man. I guess he's making a new account. I mean, he has played carry champions, but this is, again, not necessarily the style that we have seen TL play. As we see the Renekton. I don't know. I mean, I think that the 100 Thieves have better buttons. I think they have better buttons this game. A lot of pressure on Yon. I got confirmation it was 2136 is how fast he got to 225 stacks in his last smolder game. But okay. it, I mean, we got stacks for days. I don't necessarily think this is a 225 stack smolder and win since literally the last time Quid played Vagar, he just pressed R on the enemy smolder and made the stacks disappear. I think it's like so that's the smolder answer. if you he only have to really deal ice, with um. But in a game like this, you could just go MR. Like, we've seen Smolders build Rukern and shit in LPL. Smolders just walking around with a fucking Rukern, bro. Yeah, I was going to say, we've seen how difficult it can be once Smolder does get those 225 stacks to play around the massive amount of damage that Smolder... All right, let's call Yamato. ...both just wave clear and in team fights. But again... Hundred Thieves have picked a composition Yo. they should be very comfortable with playing. Oh, and also right. should be comfortable I'm good, bro. With getting in there early, right? Like disrupting. Wait, are you waking up early tomorrow for LPL? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have to, have to, have to. Out of their too much of a banger. Yeah, yeah. Have to uh, enjoy, you know? It's like. It's over soon. Like it's over soon, indeed, yeah. I always miss LPL when it's a uh, like I'm kind of like thankful for the first couple days because I'm like I mean normally when I'm in North America I'm like oh shit I don't have to wake up early anymore you know but then there's a point where I start giga missing LPL no LPL has been insanely fun to split like, insanely fun yeah it's been one of the best splits of LPL ever I think well uh, it has been like very very up and down teams have like uh, really big swings bit, on so teams it's, it's and not this time it's just it's like even even as, as simple as yesterday's to, uh, or, or like today with yeah. jdz's loss yep like, uh, sure. <laughs> way bo's win yeah. is huge yeah this is one of those the teams have some well, dog so in them you know? they they do have, that's like that's by far my favorite thing. <laughs> like you see other teams like like when i watch rogue play that team has no dog in them bro yeah yeah the only dog that's in them is the one that's fucking them every game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, when you watch LPL teams, like, they could be absolute last place eliminated. They come out and fight. Like, their lives are on the line. I love it. I, like, I was thinking about, like, someone asked me, like, why, why does Chovy, like, perform worse internationally? Like, I've, I've really, like, been paying, paying attention to him so closely. And he's just, like, the, the, the greediest motherfucker ever. And... Most of the SCK teams, they don't play to odds, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like, like, you remember the Bidi Bidi Genji game five where, <laughs> like, they were getting so fisted on side because Nar and Akali were, like, giga fed and they yep. just started hitting Nash at 20 minutes yep. just to, like, in, invite a fight that inherently is losing, but it's way better than just bleeding out and like, you're just playing to your odds, right? Yep. And SCK teams just don't do that. They don't play to their odds. They... Quid is talking respect about too much and <laughs> i think internationally they don't get away with, with the same level of uh, oh, like <laughs> getting the same respect from others you know in the same way yeah yeah oh no these two teams are great yeah, just, 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 yeah. somebody get ala's mouse asap <laughs> yeah <laughs> Or they're gonna lose their what do you think about the drafts here? You like Hundred Thieves for this game? I, I, I like Hundred Thieves a little bit more. Uh, like the, the only thing I don't like too much is is um, is it like the Zinza is a little bit out of place. Mm -hmm. But but I feel I feel like Tom Kench Smolder is is not exciting enough for me, man. Like I think I think Vega kind of runs this game. I, I, it looks hard to to, to break the Vega here. Much through their soul lanes. We expected River Quid. I think the parts that I like are, um, I just think that this is like a game where, uh, I, like, I feel like Smolder getting his stacks will be just like annoying because there's not too much to force on the Smolder. And maybe the Smolder can pull out like a Rukern or something like that. 
Yeah. Later on. The one okay. XN build, bro. Is, again, are oh, yeah, yeah. Compositions. Not even necessarily that no, they're no, like, sure. good objectively, but like... I'm thinking, like, it, it's hard because, like, some, some of these champs, it, like, really depends on, like, the player on. names. And I haven't I watched enough NA to, like, really, like really, really judge if, if 100 Thieves uh, AD are, can, is going to be, like, good on you, Kaiser. Because, like, really makes a difference. Here, I mean, like, it's weird, right? Because when I see like, him back playing Kisanta, I get kind of, I'm like, oh, this is going to fucking do well, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think that, um... Where I think the thing that I that's weird for me is it's like I don't think that he's good on Kaisa, but I think he's kind of he's probably the so second worst AD carry in the league. In lane, and his Kaisa is better than his other stuff. So Oh shit, okay. And then yeah. them fighting you and it's like at least he's kind of comfortable on Kaisa, I would say. For all of this junk to get fixed on the okay. stage, we're gonna go ahead and toss things down to Azale, who's standing by for an interview with Courage. Is bro wiping his nose with the hand warmer? Bro, he's warming up his nostrils. Are you mad? <laughs> he's snorting some heat game number one which was yeah bro have no one who does damage and it just didn't work out so game two river involved in 26, okay 27 courage for his opinion uh, he was a difference maker there and i'm just hyper getting more league yeah so i know you've been playing a lot of league yourself apa has been doing a lot of trash talk yeah. what are you thinking about the trash talk did you get the name from the dog from oh, cartoon network you know that show I mean, <laughs> courage the cowardly dog public, i probably wouldn't be on the stream right now so i'm, I'm hyped about it the more trash talk, the better. All right, well, we'll make sure no one looks them up. I heard you have a couple words for some of your friends who are watching back home. Yeah, Andre, if you're watching this, you are trash at Kaisa. You cannot play like Meech. You're gold. Please don't try to play Kaisa tonight when we play. Thank you. All right, Andre, you heard him. Back to the casters. All right. Rip Andre. Is Andre <laughs> yeah. Bro, I don't know who Andre is. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's not Meech. <laughs> no, I don't think he's playing solo queue with Meech after this. <laughs> I hope not. A lot that's happened in the in -game lore. I mean, I hope that uh that Meech is not gold. Found out that hundred thieves has a Korean chef. At which point he said, "Yeah, fuck you, Andre, you little bitch." Impact on my way. You suck at the game. Quit. By the food opportunities, it seems, and then they got into a little bit of banter about the ninety CS jacks at eighteen minutes from the previous. He just fucking do queuing. Whether or not that's a with an outcast member. Yeah. We've got some words that are starred out. All right. We're back, we're back, we're back. What those might be. Uh... <laughs> we, we got some pre gaming going on in the chat. Yeah. I think everyone is unmuted. Maybe they'll forget to mute for the actual game and we could get some fireworks this one. But more importantly, <laughs> it's 1 1. Next two wins, move on to finals weekend. Still have a chance. I need to have a set, but bro, that case the game was three, painful, man. You're done. Your spring split yeah. is completely Let's get it out of the way. <laughs> it's so painful. Oh, yeah, that was, that was really painful. Yeah. By the way, this chat. Oh. Yeah. What did you teach him, man? <laughs> what did you teach them? <laughs> oh my god, Umti. Umti. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm down. Wait, Yeon's getting... He got like four stacks off this shit. Quid is also farming, but he's greedy. Okay. <laughs> Wait, one W here? Cancel the recall? Oh! Gets a couple more stacks. They're chilling Smaller so hard now. Quit is so yeah, fucked. Say, really no really flash, no TP. Yeah, versus Jax, bro. Like, how do you play? Yeah. He didn't get a base off. This is a three camp base into long sword angle. He's going to end up pathing, but when we were worried about what this smolder was going to be able to do and whether. 100 thieves would be able to disrupt the early game enough. A w so level 2, is that real? To scale up, that's a really yeah, I don't think that's real. <laughs> Why would you ever go W at level 2? I'm... That's kind of goofy. Yeah, on Talia. He doesn't have to use flash or teleport. He doesn't have He's to warming up, you know? Meanwhile, Quid gets completely out, uses flash, and has to TP back to lane. So not only do you have that bot lane that's going to hit 25 smolder stacks and get bot lane push early, mid lane is also, in theory, going to have push for most of this early. Wait, W costs how much mana on Talia? Flash by Umpty's jacks to kick everything off in that level. My instance says 60, but that was a double. Yeah, you can see with was like 40. Here, it's only the top lane really. 40? The way of yeah, 40. Unraveled Earth is not. I mean, bro, like, yeah, I don't know, bro. This is such a waste. Why would you ever get W? Whenever you're smolder and you can just hang out, farm up, last hit as you please, you're feeling great about. Well, they're scrapping. Max rank W goes to zero Freely. Dashing into Does zero damage, bro. Stronger than them right now. 
A lot of people don't know that this this ability does zero damage. The faster you can get to the first break point on Smolder, the faster you can get to the second, which means the faster you can get to the third. Walter's getting so much easier to stack. Murdered. Right. Yeah, I mean they had the base like at such a weird time level one. They actually fucked themselves. Awesome for him. Yun's gonna get a free base. I mean, how OP is Smolder if you're able to just lane like this? So the lanes are pretty even, despite the fact that the early violence favored Team Liquid. Yeah, and we'll see if River is going to try to do something here. What was your take on the on the all pro list of, of LCS? You happy? Get some vision to see if that is possible. I mean, I'm not like I don't think it's like egregious or anything. River has flash air. He's going to have to flash. Yeah, um, I don't think it's egregious, but there's so, like I don't know. I just think Inspired is the best jungler in the league. My take. Back in the mid lane, quit down to 300 HP. Yeah, yeah from the little I've watched, that was the one that I was surprised by the most. Oh, solo kill. Boy. Damn, he got packed into a blunt last game, too. Damn. No flash on River. No flash on River. APA has no flash as well, but he's fine. Oh, this is so good for um, TL. It's like win the game here almost. Wait, don't they? Maybe not? Oh, he kills one. I guess Smolder is actually that that useless. What the fuck? Trying to escape back to the safety of the turret. Meech flashes into the Akathian rain as Core barely gets out. As Yon Ooh, Yon, where's the flash, brother? He just got clipped by the cage. Bro, he had flash there. I don't know. We're going topside again. Okay, it's a fucking complete scrap. But this is exactly what 100 Thieves want to do, right? Disrupt, even with the really poor level one, disrupt what TL. Like want to yeah, Meech kind of smurfed it. The early game here, like this is perfect for them. If they're just constantly scrapping, that's exactly where Hundred Thieves wants to be. And in this case, it gets them. I don't know. I thought this, the way that this fight started, it was going to be really good for uh, EL. Meech getting all three of those kills. That's the critical thing about all of that. The other thing that I would mention, though, is the confidence of Sniper. But his 50 stacks are... Yeah, that's actually crazy that Quinn has 50 stacks. Games when he gets a solo kill, what the hell? Lost once, and he did solo kill impact to kick all that off. Yeah, so that's already checked off. Wow, I cannot draw on this. It's difficult. <laughs> it's the angles. Yeah. I gotta get better. That three kill Kaisa, though, already starting up the draw. Bro, how did APA start completed. with TP and flash this advantage in this lane? And the conditions team. ended up like this. Yeah, as we see Quid shoving Crazy. in mid, where previously APA had pressure. Yeah. If Core wants to do anything, Yon is moving up. I mean, Yon already at 33 stacks, but that doesn't matter when you just have a Sheen and there's two bruisers inside the Drake pit. Yeah. River's got control over this one. APA, Core, Umpty. I don't think anybody's. Yep. Gonna be able to do a whole lot about it. I will say here, the first blood by APA not paying off as much as Team Liquid would have wanted. Just, they're, they're sending the APA forward. no flash. This is dead. You can see APA actually getting hooked in. He's gonna go down. As hundred thieves carry that momentum through, and that's gonna be a struggle. For APA Bro, Quid just has a million stacks or something, or like, what the fuck is going on? We talked previously about how TL want to sometimes unlock core to make these ganks, right? In in mid or top. Or 71 Vagar stacks at six minutes. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Me just no flash. He can definitely die here. Yeah, he's probably just dead. They didn't see him. Yes, they just go for the Ayla kill. EP from Vagar here. Yeah, I mean, the, TP, the TP was strange. I wonder if they can actually kill Meech here before he's level 6. Like, because he has 300 gold shutdown. If they get, like, a Talia ulti down here onto Meech before he's 6, combo that with, like, Jack Slash, this guy is dead as hell. Nothing can be done. He will now be down TP, so both TPs from TL will be back up before 100 Thieves, Sniper, and Quid. As we see River going bot side again, maybe. Yeah, both teams concerned with putting down some vision in the enemy team's red side jungle as these uh, second rounder red buffs are going to make their Where'd you go? Where'd you go, bro? Yeah, bro, my cat's 
mid right oh now, shit so okay what ballistic or good okay what the fuck happened both bro whatever that thing is called no way stacked up for extra ap for quid yeah yeah i don't know is Mitch the go or is is team liquid they didn't uh i don't know it was a weird fight that's all we can say but quid is just <laughs> fucking stacking bro look at his stacks damn very nice okay not too shabby not too shabby pretty insane for this early Guys, I'm so sorry. My stomach's in excruciating pain. I have to tap Especially because he played the game with no flash, no TP. Wait, Flowers had to leave the cast because his stomach was in excruciating pain? What the hell? Holy. <laughs> That's crazy. What the fuck? He, he ate too many beans. God damn. I hope it's not like appendicitis or like a dumb classic, a bit of kidney stone action. Yeah, bro. That, no, that was the that was the the mental warfare. It's like, do I have appendicitis or do I have a kidney stone? Like, because I mean, you're hoping kidney stone in that scenario anytime. Bro, like that, like one year ago when you told me about this shit. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Umti to fight this. Oh damn. Okay, kind of clean. Kill nice, clean as fuck. That's like a game-winning play, by the way. Oh, no! Core is here. Oh, it goes to Smolder. That's actually so good. Meech has flash. Ayla has no flash. He's just dead. He did. Bro, that's so good for TL. What the fuck? What were you going to say? The timing was very nice for Umti, man. The oh. Q over on oh, shit. Impact mistimed it. He griefed it. He's dead. Oh, no Impact way. griefed it. Damn. What happened to my goat, man? Uh, I want to say, like, one year ago, like, when you told me that you had this shit, bro, I was so paranoid for, like, three months. I was, like, drinking water. I was like, how much sodium is there in this food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, like, the worst. I would never want to experience that, but... Yeah, no, I mean, it was, uh, it was tough. It's, uh... It's it's just such a like a horrific pain, bro. Like it just like it's what the fuck is going on, you know? They also chunk river low enough so by the time Core JJ arrives, they can pick up that final kill and extra fortunate that it goes over to Yon with the mom. And we've talked about how I wonder if it's worth I mean Meech ulted in there? Is it worth Core just flash eating him and bringing him to Yon? Like flash auto eating him, bringing him back? It could have been sick. For getting the best of impact yeah and we'll see if the top lane matters because i thought honestly, i thought impact was smurfing still man he was bro he smurfed on him last game oh quid oh we missed those oh apa slow there's dragon yo what is this scrap over the river bro bro they are fucking fighting man this is different this is this is the thing about lcs LCK oh, would dude. never. Fucking pink ones in the river, man. Bro, we love that river. Okay. Okay. Nah, I said this two weeks ago, too. Like, LCS, they are, like, throwing hands. It's, like, the best way to improve, I feel like. I, I appreciate that so much. Yep. Like, the, the NA memes about not doing shit for so long, they, they feel kind of dead. Yeah, for sure. No, like, the, that was that was my main point. It was, like, even the bottom teams, like, I would say the, the biggest culprits of not doing anything at lcs were always like the the dog shit teams like old dignitas they were the team that i think lost a game like five to zero kill score at the end of the game and they just like didn't do anything for 27 minutes fought one fight got aced and then the game was over i feel like the bottom teams actually went, like improved like shopify is a bloody team uh immortals was willing to like fight just they guess got players that are willing to scrap now Mm. Where is this the, the old guard macro, you know? It's like fucking double lift and Bjergsen. Yeah, yeah. You know, they are legends, but <laughs> that macro was, was clapped. Yep. I remember like the, the Han Sama that always played Seraphine. Like, was, and Jinx, bro, please stop playing like they Seraphine. Turned, <laughs> they turned him into a femboy. <laughs> a femboy, god damn. 
Jesus. I remember watching that fucking series in the office, you know, and it's like hovering Lucian. And then he knocks Seraphine. He wants to play Lucian Nami. Like having a wonderful world with Rogue, you know, and then, you know, Seraphine, the gelato bullies him. Ain't no way you said they turned him into a fucking femboy, bro. Jesus. Well, it's like I'm just gonna go grab something right back. All right, man. Doesn't actually elect to use it, so it is just a bit of a trade. I was gonna say, are you blaming Spawn for drilling the macro into them? That's why on stage they they didn't have as many kills. Thanks, Zerbin equals Femboy. I mean, look, I got I, I get a lot of detention TikToks. That's my boy. Um, he is very gay and very proud of it, and he always says straight players cannot play Seraphine. Like, if he watches a Seraphine and they run it down, he always says, yeah, that's Seraphine straight. He always says that, bro. Go ask him, bro. Go ask detention. There's no dragon up for two and a half minutes. They're still in river because the objective is just to kill the other team. Is what it feels like. They're both constantly looking for team fights. And look at Yon, 122 stacks already. It's going to accelerate as he's picking up even more CDR. You know, CDR boots are going to be in next than Shojin almost always. But he's at 125. He just he just sees like a missed ult. He's like straight for sure. Moved around a mid lane. This is generally that Seraphine is straight. Allow you to farm raptors, allow you to farm wolves. <laughs> really try to super accelerate. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, this might be the fastest time ever. In the last playoff game, he did it in 21 minutes, 36 seconds. But this game, he got six stacks in a level one fight. Yep. It let him hit 25 stacks even earlier. The river skirmishes, even if he's not winning, he's still stacking extra minions. Now he's going to be. Why is my YouTube not fucking popping up? Okay, there it is. My YouTube chat was gone so for a second. There's a chance we see like a pre 20 minute 225 stack transformation for the smolder. And this is where I think we will see TL slow down a tiny bit uh, and really look Top at lane is relevant. TL right? Core 4 is winning. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the smolder being accelerated is so OP for this game. TB behind, TB behind. They have to care about this. River went in, but he went in like way too deep, way too early. Let's see how it goes. What the fuck is this? Why did Talia TP there? What did Ta Talia do, bro? Oh, APA grief is so hard. Instead of TPing top or TPing to his team, he TPed behind and then ulted this way and then left. Oh my god. APA just sent it, man. That was crazy. He is a huge problem. Had a massive game two. Is back at it again in game three here, cleaning up on the back end of these fights. And the least expected carry of 100 Thieves has been the one showing up here in game three. Yeah, as we see this again, I'm curious to Bro, see. Bro, APA, look where he TPs. He's bot lane right now. He could just TP top. Because his teammates, like, he wants to be front to back with his team. Look where he TPs. He TPs to, to this line bush. His team is like, help. Like, imagine if Talia is just, like, right here with the boys. Like, they're definitely not all dying if Talia's right there. But he just TPs here and then just ultis this way and the fight is fucking lost. He was probably typing some bullshit in all chat while he did that too. He's like, haha, quid, you are dog shit. Only 200 stacks at 16 minutes. His whole team is fucking dying going, please, APA, help! APA! We need a TP! Like, yeah, overrated. Back to LCK Academy, quid. So fucked up, actually. Okay, cool, they give it. Yeah. Okay, they trade full side. And that's why we see, I think, TL yeah, it's fine. I mean, Yun is really, really good on stacks this game. Over the top side of the map instead. Um, because 100 Thieves off of this, they'll get the Drake, and Vigar should be able to get that top, that bot side tier one. Um, APA, stop typing, we're dying. That's the fucking classic, bro. He was expecting a potential dive there, I think. Yeah. Pops Dominus a little bit early, wants to stay safe, but Ayla is here to support, and I don't think TL were ever really thinking about that dive, but now APA may have overstayed his welcome. He's got to back up, as that recall very narrowly is able to complete before Ayla spots him in the brush. Not even close. <laughs> calculated. Yon 180. I, I, I'm weird. It's either calculated or it's unlucky. It's never bad. <laughs> 
I'm weirdly fascinated with Jan's stacks on Smolder because I think he has a chance. Think to Jan's carrying this? I, feel like this is I think he can like carry this. Game for Smolder, just because Vagar Kaiser is going to be able to assassinate him at most stages of the game, even through the top. The thing is, like Smolder. The thing that I've learned about Smolder is like it doesn't matter who's playing it once they get to a certain point. Like there's not much skill in the champion. It's just about stacking and then just queuing frontline over and over. Players that are considered Again, terrible in LPL, Obviously like LWX, for example, for RNG, consider one of the worst AD carries in the league. He plays Smolder, he's like 11 kills every game just because he stacks well and he understands just to cue the front line. About how TL like to play. So I want to shout out Meech too, right? We talked about how the Kaisa is something he's super comfortable on as we're going on to Alright. Yeah, Pathmaker to safety there. He's able to find the buffer. Gets a just oh, base, a little cut through yeah, on a tempo I, swing. So and Talia showing top. Right? Like, uh, golden glue and that small Good basics. Uh, interview we heard from him before this game started about how he really relies on Meech to just be able to go Throw drinks on Vagar, yep. Really well, and that was his strength on Disguised, and now he's oh, people really love the Shirelia's build. I'm not completely sold on it. I guess it's okay. To go to the Kaisa to play really aggressive in those following games, and to have the confidence that it's going to work out, because this is not a champion that you can play passively and have success on, yeah. right? You really do have to have that killer. OP Smolder, it's not like connect, the Giga OP Smolder, but it's not the nerfed Smolder, the Giga nerf Smolder either. It's the mid Smolder. Bro, Quid is just walking around just like that. And then we're able to move for Baron. So with the current power... Okay, Mama, what I would think to just buy on Vega is just go Crypt Bloom second, no? And then you're like, fuck it, set. Get it ability ace. You already have like an item that really scales well. You are solid against MR. The enemy showing mercs already. And then you can choose on three, whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Humpty? That was a mistake. As it will cost you on his heel. All right. Interesting. Not the worst thing that could happen. LWX or Duck Dom? Like a full loss of a play. Mm -hmm. I would take Duck Dom any day in their current forms. LWX looks like giga washed. You should take the uh, Ming advice. That's what's pretty based from Ming, honestly. Yeah. I was pretty disappointed yeah. in his so return, but. Uh, his cage kind of just I gave my respect back for him in this in this moment. And how much zone control both of these Yeah, I'm not as good as I was before. If I can't improve, I should just stop wasting everyone's time. <laughs> it's so fucking based, holy shit. Ooh. Can they look here? I just walks it off. But it's a little bit of a force here from TL because they see both these side lanes are going uh, in this. Impact's going to go all out. The ghost is pop, but Sniper is winning. Good oh, W from w. Impact here. Yeah. Really good W. Can they do anything off of it? No. Trying to keep them interested. Not going to be able to do it. Jax is lost. It looks like he could play more. No, I don't think he had lethal range there without W. Oh, they're on to River. Hold. Oh, they're going on to Quid. Quid got caught. His flash is blown. Line to the wall, gonna be oh, APA flashes and whiffs. Smoldering. Oh, we're smoldering. We're smoldering. Flash Q. He's looking at it. Oh, you just take the free Drake here, no? Yeah, probably. Don't like this pursuit from Impact here. Oh, Ayla. Be happy Q the wall, bro. Yeah. And right at the start of that fight, Yon did hit the 225 stats. I don't need to risk anything just picking up a Drake here. It's just so game breaking. Running to no TP. Uh, Ming is definitely, or Ming, yeah, Ming is definitely one of the goats. He's one of the greatest supports of all time, bro. The three M's. Ming, Mata, Ming, Mako. Yeah, Karia up there. Slowly, yeah. Yep. Uh, Karia's form this year is... It's, it's amazing. Right? Because when it like, considering his career, you know? Yeah. I feel like a lot of times, like, it's weird, right? I feel like Guma is just, uh... I mean, uh, pretty much Karia wears the pants in that relationship. This is what I've seen. Quid is no okay, flasher, actually. And do anything off this? Quid is just walking up like that. Holy fuck, this guy has so much ego. This is a mid turret, no, for TL. We should just cut them off. 
Yeah. Gonna get dropped down. They're just trying to regain control here around this mid lane. Impact hovering. They're just allowed to walk in like this? Oh, they are allowed to, yeah, to cross this little hole there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. That seems again. sus to oh. me. Both of them are so ready for a fight to break out, but they know if the initiation isn't pure, the fight will get completely wiped for the other team and then the baron would likely decide the game so they have to be very cautious with how good their initiation is core is gonna get hooked in a little bit of poke on oh damage on Ayla. Ayla is burning impact on the side gonna pop the path Make oh shit the i clipped him in goes meat and meat is gonna burst them down impact sniper dead there. oh my god Ayla went in okay playing it but he doesn't have the support apa and yon are on the road you need apa to hit something Who's it their turn? Potentially they could go for Baron. Yeah, as we see, if they turn on to Baron, it was a bro. Isn't Baron scary here? Around, and then it doesn't look so easy. I don't know how they bro, turn. I'd be shitting my pants going for Baron here. To meet for just be willing to get in there. Quick really? Yeah, very Do they have like Shirelia they can pop and walk on Yeah, Yeon maybe. Could, if Yeon flashes properly, I think they don't do shit here. Yeah, it's really scary. I mean, uh, Impact is gonna TP right now. Is it Shirelia? APA just walked in and killed himself. Oh, the saw oh, we're smoldering. Ah, oh, we're smoldering so fucking hard. Me, Leech is just dead. Oh, okay. It looked like he died. Yeah, no, it was close, bro. The fucking Tom Kench eat was clutch. I don't know. I think that Barrett is so sketchy, man. Yeah, yeah. I really don't like it. I assume you was gonna grief his flash. That's the only thing that will work. And that was like even APA ran it down there. Yeah, APA just walked into melee range. Now, can anyone get over the wall to actually stop him? You can see they're trying to poke and prod away. Mom's gonna get called. Ingo's impact. Nice. Okay, nice. No chance of a 50 50. Well done from TL. APA and Yawn hold the fort in what was a 2v4 situation. Get the kills, get the shutdowns, get the Baron, and Yawn just got paid. Yeah, as we go back to that mid lane fight, Ayla goes in and then they get the seismic shove on him. Impact. Have people still been playing Smolder in your games? Mom nearly takes out Ayla and then. Like it's solo kill, this time is dead, no? I've, I've been seeing it, but I don't know if it's people like, I mean, I played just on the day it was nerfed, so I don't know if it was just because people were like trying it out, seeing if they can make it work. I keep getting Kamas, man. Kamas is so dead, like this champion dropped like 8% with the next shot, like they headshot her and people are playing this garbage too. So. Wait, what did they, what did they do to Karma? Q cost up, Mantra, passive, cooldown goes uh, like 5 seconds, it was 5 seconds before, now it's 4 seconds on like hit, spell hit. So it's like you, you don't stack Q the same and uh, you know Q Mantra, like Q cost was 40 on every rank before, now yeah, it goes yeah. up with skill points. Uh, damn, the, the champ is, is really headshot and it's like E, E shield is also scaling his headshot. Like they, they really killed this champ harder than they killed uh, the dragon. Smolder being online, we talked about how difficult it can be for to play around a smolder, right? Like yeah. 100 Thieves theoretically. All right, soul point for 100 Thieves. Can they do anything? The answer is no. Meech can dive on him. They have Ayla's ult. Sniper can go yeah, around Meech's inventory looks so shit. Him. I don't know what he's buying. We've seen across all regions. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. And how cleanly yeah, actually, what the fuck is that? How cleanly you have to set up the map so, in order to take out a smolder. That's not what he's And their job just got harder because Mikhail's was picked up from core. And okay. That item is criminally underrated. Mm. It's going to make it even more difficult. There's exhaust. There's what is Quid buying as well? He has move speed pants and a large rod. Yeah, I don't know, What's bro. What's happening with the components here, man? They oh went my to the free markets, bro. Bro, imagine if he just didn't have this winged moon plate. They entered my my father's garage and he started selling them the most random things. Jesus. And Yon, I think he's he's going bloodthirster. I think for the overshield. Just one nomadic man. Imagine he had the Crypt Bloom instead of Shirelia. We'll see if that R from and the Death Cap was about to finish. He would be the GOAT. If Hunter Thieves somehow got for this Drake, so Nine hundred AP. very meticulous in the way they zone out for this Drake. And no one I mean, they have a uh, rapid fire on TV, but no members from Yun. It's fucked. on that top side. So they want to make sure we are first to the play. We have the angles here. As you can see, there was pings down to that. Oh, why is it that? So sniper is likely going to be yeah. TPing like that bot wave to try to join on click ability like that works with rapid fire. <laughs> oh, that guy's just dead. Oh, oh my god, no way. Damn. Quick movement. Oh, 
Oh, the burn. They eat him. Hey. Okay, Yon. God, I hate this champion, bro. Oh, what's that? That's so sickening, bro. Oh, shit. Ain't no way. So you're saying you want Quid to take his pants off? I, I'm not saying I want him to take them off. I just want him to not have pants in the first place, you know? Core JJ is back. Yeah, and since they're fighting in this choke, yeah, of course JJ is back. Harder for them to then get back yeah. on him, right? As we see them reinitiate, this is and just, oh. it's just Smolder being dumb, man. I mean, fortunately he's gone in next match. <laughs> That's so true. Like, I feel weird yeah. Complaining about it as I see the coach's reaction. I will say, players need to learn how to play around that better. It's just not built into their brains yeah. Yeah. to play around the Q splash because if Ala steps a little bit to the left as yep. Smolder is coming up. His mid laner doesn't die, right? So there is a way to play around that, but obviously, yeah, 14-6 is out on live and small. The split scan was pretty neat. And the blood yep. was completed by Yon, so he's gonna be even harder to burst out. Quit still no death cap. Massive mm -hmm. power spike for Team Liquid here. Still relatively hard to break the base with no Baron buff, but just the power of Smolder. Pre-30 minutes, 350 stacks and four full items. Team Liquid really wants to play on this edge. Yeah, and we'll see how they're able to push in few of these waves to try to set up the rest of just play around it this is where are yeah. generally pretty good in terms of looking at where they do <laughs> it's want just to push in and how they do want to just the outplay game it they take control of it um and if 100 thieves start a fight again as we <laughs> this reminds about, me when to freak told so 80 carries to, to just buy shield bow <laughs> yeah just buy shield bow, bow cap it penis just buy or just just type when you want cart assault just type it team liquid win this game they'd be one game away from guaranteeing themselves top three which is how they finished last summer split before changing the top side of their map impact and umpty were brought into the team it's just such a crucial final 10 minutes let's see the ap game, of, of, of vega this is 1000 at this point they're in a lot of control but if hundred thieves are uh, it's got to be at least yeah it's got to be it's got to be close so quid does have gathering storm and let's see if they're going to be able to disengage this the mom is going to come over the top he's at nine hundred fifty tools burnt hmm. over 2, damage as river's going to have to back out maybe i've not just like fully rid that like just rode her right into their whole team the wave is actually coming in through mid. I mean, he has Tom Kench kind of close, just like a little bit closer, so he can just drop an E across them. His ult also clipped into the wall. He could have like cut more space if he let it like be outside the wall. We gotta get a Q off. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Okay. It should be a winning fight though. Should win the fight. Yeah, they should murder them. Meech is, Meech is not in the fight at all. at all. He chased over the wall. It's over. Penta, give me Penta. Give me Penta. Nice. They just end, no? They have this wave mid. If he doesn't kill this wave, the game's over. Oh, they go bot. Oh, they're going for the Penta. They want it. Oh! No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The Kaisa catching bot and then getting chased down. Make sure this game ain't no way, bro. He deserves it for playing this champion. Maybe cool JJ was like, I'm gonna save you from staining your record. You don't want this on your Linkpedia page. <laughs> Like these fights are so in the favor of Team Liquid, but it's damage dealt last team fight 6.4k. He didn't even poke before the fight. So it is a big fight for Team Liquid, but how do these stay alive? But which is more common, killing a Nexus or getting a pen skill? 
you know? Oh, so, I mean, so really, <laughs> which is more important? So I don't even know if that was a choice for the penna. I, I agree with you, pennas are always more important. But watching this fight one more time, Umpty, despite not getting the steal, kind of wins this fight for them. He takes so much aggro from Meech, and then Meech flying yeah. over for the attempted assassination. When your Kai'Sa does that, the fight almost always loses if he doesn't get the execution. APA doesn't die. Yon gets to free hit this entire time, which is the opposite of what Hunter Thieves want to have. Wait, River? They need to get River? To Yon if they want a chance to win this game. Yeah, they want Soul desperately to try to get themselves. Oh, he's GA now on top. Nice. Soul that is up and available. Sniper going to be answering well played. through mid lane, but he is kind of sectioned off, and now a GA has been completed as well for Yon. So if it was hard to kill him once, now you gotta kill him twice, and we'll see if they can find an angle to do it. Well, at least they got the overshield off of him. He can stack it up a little bit on the dragon here, but he's holding all his cooldowns in case there's an engage. Sniper really wants to get a flank off here. Yeah, really needs to find that perfect angle, but the Weaver's Wall gonna come down, and now Sniper is sacked, and he's gonna pop the Dominus, but in comes Meat onto APA. APA potentially in trouble. The core gonna get over there and devour up his mid laner. Yon is untouched. Oh, Yon is actually just getting one shot. Hold up, hold up. Oh. Oh shit. oh shit! TL is crumbling as River and Quinn push Okay, we got a spot. game. LCS Drake, baby. LCS Drake, we're getting it. The, steal, so Soul is still the fucking classic. Either team, but this is an absolutely chaotic bloodbath of a third game. 44 kills already. This is exactly what 100 Thieves want to do, though, right? Like, in order to win this game... They I mean, here, like, I don't... I, I think, like, APA kind of griefs it a bit. Like, he just... He just... Oh, he tunneled on walling, and then he just let Sniper walk up to him when Sniper had no E somehow unbind his ultimate from being used on anyone but Yon. I don't care <laughs> if APA dies to Renekton. You have to protect the smolder in these fights as GA gets instantly That's popped. Sniper B9. He can't get yep. popped over the wall. Two solo kills, maybe the game saving or game winning flank and a team fight win for 100 All right. And phenomenal to see from Sniper, right? Who we talked about as a coach quickly clue. <laughs> Let's go. What was the APM on that clap? That was speedy. That was a pro gamer yeah, clap right there. It looked like he was going like a double speed. You know Golden Gook personally? Uh, we've talked yeah, about yeah. Sniper. The big thing he he was talking about was like, it reminds I want me of Fallout. to understand where Fallout. I can find oh, the... I want to know what I'm the, doing. The, the, the like, blonde the little the statue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Coming up from NACL to uh, the LCS stage. Yeah, I know him. He's, uh, he's a homie. Good dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems like a good dude. Yeah, he's a good dude for sure. Void staff now fully bought up there for I'm happy to well. see people like stick around and like and, uh, get better, you know, get stronger. Storm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. storm is you mean because he goes to the gym or not build another AP I mean, No 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 like he seems nah, to like has grown into the position, he worked in CL, you know, and yeah. the challenge series, you know. I, I respect that. The grind, you know. Yeah. did sell the GA, he bought a seeker, so he knows Is he jacked or what? Yeah, yeah. You know, like that primordial burst or something coming through. Well, I don't know. I don't know uh, about like right now, but there was a point where he was like really into going to the gym. It was when they were like swapping players, the the Reaper swapping players and Svenskeren and Golden Glue versus. No, even after that, he was really into like just yeah, bulking, cutting, like nutrition, all that shit. Okay. When you're around Gilius, though, you got no choice, bro. Yeah. It's either you bulk or you bulk. Yes, we see them prepping out side waves on both sides. I love to bulk. See much I live to bulk. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's just think about the way just hate going to the to go for both teams. <laughs> Teal actually needs to slightly absorb the engage of Hunter Thieves mm -hmm. so Yon can get in range to hit. Because if it's just a straight up. Buy groceries, spend 100 like euro, come home with engage. nothing. About so almonds and strawberries, and um, he could probably bro, uh, the f a food in Europe is so much cheaper than in America. Really, way cheaper. More expensive in America? Way, no way, way more expensive. So we're getting robbed out here, man. Nah, bro, we get How giga robbed in America. Getting? Like, if we went to the store, we got thirty bucks worth of food. We got some good food. Well, it's like I, I spend a hundred bucks, fill two bags with, with nothing, man. Absolutely yeah. nothing. No, our shit is like so expensive in America. And I do think that's where Hundred Thieves as a team really, really thrives. 
All right, they what clicked the Vega. Good. 12, 12.45, fucking finally. So X30 wage in America? What do you mean, bro? I get this paid the same when I'm over here. The fuck? I don't get paid any more for being in America. <laughs> oh, big wave. All right, in the whole fight. Oh, my God, River, he's dead. Go mid, go mid. Stop chasing like animals. Go mid. Thank you. Yeah, they might be going for Go mid, they base, then go to Baron. It's so easy, bro. Get a fight off of this one, and they've stuck Hunter Thieves in a bad situation. If they do recall, then Team Liquid for the Baron. If they yep. don't, they're going all the way for the Nexus. All right, they're posturing for it, but they are going to retreat back towards that Baron. Sniper is going to have to retreat out of there. I think so you just know, take position of Drake, no? What do you think? Yeah, and as we saw from the side, uh, about Sniper. 20 seconds. Be in situation. Uh, uh, right. Did they kill it fast enough? I guess I think they one shot and just walk over. Yeah, they do, they do, they do. You're right. A little bit scary, though. Actually, Yon doesn't do it that fast, does he? Ah, nah, it's good enough. Yeah, I'm just thinking now, because they can, like, burst it, no? The Kai'Sa, Vega, to just throw spells. Quinn is kind of late, though. Yeah, but I think that Impact just TPs and they just win the game. Like, they just fight and win, no? Four seconds. Yeah. Run! I think that... Shouldn't Impact TP behind there? Yeah, it was a weird TP. Oh, don't let these guys base, no? Yeah, you never let them base here. Oh, big plant. Oh, man, Meech is in no man's land. Quid is so fucked. Oh, APA. Yeah, it's GG. No ulti from uh, Meech. He can't play. GG. Ah, oh, he's just gonna get another... Oh, he's gonna get a second quadra kill in the game. Nice, bro. Good, JJ wants it. Oh, nice. So then he's gonna ruin this one, too. You can get him his fucking penta already. Nice, another penta. Oh, my God, penta kill. Oh, my God, he's, like, setting one of the LCF records for kills. Danny is back. Holy... What do you think about Azale play by play? He's pretty good at it, though. So oh, I haven't been paying attention too much. Yeah, he's been doing it this split. He did it because uh, Captain Flowers had to poop. The toy doesn't know it, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I, I feel like, uh, bro, I, like uh, when I hear Azil speak, it seems like he like is so much more. He just lets go, you know. He does zero tolerance for bullshit. Yeah. He's going through his freak phase, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, but he's he's been a real one for a while. It was a little period where we were perma copying each other on stream. Everything I said, he said on the broadcast one second after. He had my stream in his ear while he was casting. Kind of cringe, but whatever. That's fucking good. Since I was struggling in this game. Yep. I think at this point, like, Jax is just a better band than Trundle. Like. Yeah, Trundle band is like... Just because people like playing uh, Trundle into Zin, like the Zin players don't like the 1v1, you know? As what fucking year is it, you know? It's yeah. like everyone's picking Jax. Yep. Oh, oh, the Trundle. Yep, that was an exciting one. And if you're enjoying today's banger of a series, a reminder that LCS Finals Weekend kicks off next Saturday, where the winner of this series takes on the loser of Cloud9 versus FlyQuest, which is going to happen tomorrow. Let's head on over to the LCS Lounge to break that one down. Welcome back. We miss you, Azale. It's now the Raz and Kobe duo. Yes, it is. The Roby. Uh, I want to get into a quick replay here because early on. Raz is my homie, game, man. He's been trying to bet back. for me to we get my LCS cool streaming. How important positioning <laughs> and focus fire. I've been trying, bro. Skirmishes. So this was an early Apparently, it's full. And you'll see. Uh, yeah, because there's limited team. slots, right? Yeah. But because <laughs> They didn't just open it up and let like Viper and a bunch of other people co-stream and, and Kitty and yeah. Huge, huge advantage, I co-streamed every he game last year. <laughs> a real one. And him, I slept yep. through some games, I can admit. But natural functions and all that jazz. So, <laughs> how close hundred thieves say here and how uh disparate team liquid are because we've got one carry down here for team liquid the other carry just flashed over here and so even though 
TL are going to get the first kill onto this Zin Zhao. Because 100 Thieves have the focus fire here, they're going to not only be able to answer the jungle kill, but then they're also going to be able to turn back onto APA. So first kill goes over, then they answer onto Umpty, and then they charge through. Lethal Tempo Kai'Sa is so much better for you than an early smolder with nothing here that Meech is able to get triple. huge off of this play. And this was going to be the most important play. <laughs> Bro, Inspired was posted As something you know, crazy. What the longer, fuck? You know, smolder grew up and started executing. <laughs> this is one of the biggest things that gave <laughs> There's a Kia All Pro second team. It's Impact inspired JoJo Berserker Ayla. And he just put Ayla as the clown, bro. Holy fuck. <laughs> God damn, bro. Perfect, just like zoning away APA and then being able to help. My truth is down. I can't open right, this. Go the what the hell? Ooh, let's go. Let's get straight into it. So for me, it was around when Team Liquid actually picks up after. Uh, a bit of a barren throw from 100 Thieves. So let's just play this one through. This is the team fight that 100 Thieves end up picking up. Now, in this team fight, major win is that they end up getting the pick on Cassante. Did you get and to so vote that, uh, for the All-Pro? Hell no, bro. You think they the want my vote? The support, uh, but he goes down of course. Too, and and AP what the hell? Zoned out. So, nope. That's here? crazy talk, man. Digon got one. Baron, but, what's the problem here, Kobe? but who has watched more oh, NALCS than you? Power, I, I, think I've, I think I've watched almost every single game of LCS ever. Legitimately. Yeah. He's really low in HP. You don't see I believe that. Like he has Bro, you you co-streamed before it was the thing. TP yep. For me. I can't. You have the draw tool. Oh, oh my I can't. God, I can't. Right. I can't. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. He has TP, and as you can see from the you started the co-streaming before Duncan fucking Joe Rogan started co-streaming MMA. <laughs> True. Actually, he took it from you. We were in the fucking gutter, bro. I was 1K viewers co-streaming with a timer. Those were the days, though. Smolder picks up Renekton and the rest of the squad comes through. TP from uh, Impact. I just gave up on solo queue at a point, bro. That was a point where so the just solo queue just broke me. Timer, great, uh, and I was like, I will do, I will so fucking co stream with no viewers. Open off of a with the timer overdoing so so solo queue. Uh, you paved yeah. the way, brother. Um, so yeah, definitely yep. a big turning point there. You paved the way. Successfully scale their small and then I got banned. Successfully GG. Here, so, uh, I mean, honestly Dude. though, the game went so long. Like, this I paved the way and they fucking executed, executed me on the side of the road. Again, <laughs> uh, more kill <laughs> and Scourge LS and fucking up. double left and Cage will just walk <laughs> down the fucking road. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm just <laughs> dead, bro. My corpse is on the side. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Thanks, bro. Hey. Closer and closer Good to shit. The five game series because of how well <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, that's so insane. And Meech is stepping up as an AD carry. For the whole split, he was generally pretty quiet as they were focusing a lot of their attention towards mid and top lane. But this is a series that's turning into, uh, you know, basically opening up the pool a little bit more on AD carries. In the very beginning, they were doing three AD carry bans and then trying to make it as livable as possible for Meech. But now, it's just pound for pound, Meech is performing in team fights. Meech is performing, Yon is performing. Uh, Yon actually with the 18 kills. This, mm, this is a smolder true. stat. So uh, the 18 kills is third highest kills in a single game in the LCS. At least we got a live view uh, site from it. Revenge, yep, it's true. Without that, we wouldn't have a live view site. That's so, true. I say we give revenge. Oh, I use that shit too. So too. A little bit easier. What, uh, mine or what? Yeah. Uh, you know what oh, what sucks for a I, use, I don't know. Like, this is site called live view. Oh, no, no. I thought that was yours. No, no, no. Grab him! Grab him! T Rex claws. <laughs> but the one time they drop the smolder ban is when the smolder uh, pops off. So I'm oh, holy shit! Wait, there's the there's playoffs right now in um CB Law. So kind of fucking hype. Game four after this break. Game versus Kaboom. Oh shit. A Maorong angle. I really like Impact and Code JJ, man. Yep. I, I appreciate Code JJ so much because. I
most recently for me, like it was uh, actually humanoid. It's like uh, Mad Lions just won two splits, right? And then we, yeah, we, we, I work with humanoid right after. And he was like, "You guys last year were so fucking boosted." All right, okay, so so what were we missing? And then, like, he just pointed out like the concept of. Um, it's like you have to do accomplish what you need to accomplish with as little people as possible so you can hide what the next step is and to fake pressure everyone everywhere right yeah. and then the concept of just as you open on the map if you're stronger you should match and you should never give anything and like whenever we played against mad it's like we would stomp them in lane or whatever the fuck, but it just didn't matter because we we're always slower, slower on side because we would always show on the midway, which which now is fairly fucking obvious. But at the time, it was like, oh shit, we, what the fuck are we doing this entire time? It's like I I think of the person before I heard this, it's like how stupid was I? And now everything is just fucking different, you know? Yeah. So I would like it to not exist, and we just go go back on the bands. The Vagar, I think, is really big for Quid, though. I think it is. Did Humanoid teach you the concept of dying to enemy jungler in lane every game? Bro, he flashed defensively this game and look what happened, they lost. Maybe they keep that one around. Team Liquid might want to address the cluster just a little bit because it's doing really well. Humanoid is insanely smart, insanely fucking good. Just he's a little bit like indifferent in regards to like someone doesn't get it the first time he's gonna be like i don't want to invest my energy into you <laughs> god damn that's kind of fucked have to up no? figure it out you'll have to fucking figure it out jesus but isn't that like kind of fucking toxic in its own way right back on the bench you can hear the yeah he's, he's not like gonna be like the engine that drives the team you know but, yeah. but he, he'll be there ready for when people are it's like <laughs> My mission in, in that fanatic was to understand him so I could convey it to everybody else, you know? Yeah. Meech has been a problem for Team Liquid. This is the one series where it's just the most AD carry ban. Okay. At least it started this series with 100 Thieves. Can't believe they banned Kai'Sa. All right, so what is up, bro? We've got five AD carry bans. Zeri action, Zyrakhan. Zyrakhan is probably going to be one tooed by TL. Jinx finally poke her head out. Yes, because of these bands, so we might see I saw that Maokai draft, Mohammed Thieves, that, was, that shit was fucking from last year. That's an LNG okay, draft, bro. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> I'm down with LNG playing that, not down with other people playing it. True, 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 true. And when they locked it in, like, that game one, I was like, hey, this is LNG draft, bro. Yeah. Scouts is gonna pop off, man. His, his EQs are gonna do damage. Yeah, he will do damage. Pigeonhole them into it have to be in quids. Yeah, and Team Liquid have done this draft before where they go Zaya, Rakan, and a three pick Ziggs. Does Mitch play Aphelios so or Zeri? Ezreal? Or what's, what, what, what kind of cooking does he, does he do? Because you could do like Ash Ezreal here, but. Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's like gonna play Zeri or something. I have no idea. Like, he played Jinx. Renata. Nah, he's not a Draven Renata. He, he could be an Aphelioser. Okay. Aphelios is such an American champ. Has so many guns. <laughs> okay. But yeah, right. Team Liquid, they've been Second Amendment, the homeboy. <laughs> of failures. Holy shit. Okay, he lives in Texas, bro. <laughs> For yeah, sure, bro. Team Liquid have also gone God with damn. A lot of, he has a ranch. <laughs> yeah. So 100 Thieves this time around. Looks like they're going to get a little bit of protection too. <laughs> I'm always a really big fan of Renata with Aphelios also. Uh, you just have so many options yourself for counter engage now. Talia Rocks and Renata Ultimate. Looks like it's going to be kind of flexible. Yeah, the counter engage is quite nice. It looks like they're trying to drop top lane to 4 5. Team Liquid's probably just going to go for a Ziggs here anyway. Ziggs is Oriana on 3, no? Mid lane. Oh, Oriana? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah, it's APA, bro. <laughs> that's the dragon Oriana right there. The Farm it I like his uh, Aesol normally. Been, He's got a nice Aesol. Yeah, One of the cleanest Aesols like, we've uh, seen. Uh, the oh, that's lovely. Still be yep. flexed, but I, I like that Aesol has been popping off. Like, I love seeing Aesol. Yeah. Like, Care has a good Aesol. Yep. 
Yeah. People are playing it in uh, LCK, right? Who played it? Uh, Bulldog? Yeah, Bulldog loves it. Bulldog really loves it. He has a great ASO. Even Chovy played ASO today. He has a nice oh. ASO. Chovy has a good ASO? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine, bro. Chovy probably has the nicest ASO. And you can just drop the star on his head. Super clean. Super clean, yeah. Types of, of long range setups. If you get hit with an Aurelius bro, you know what? ASO was just disgusting. Uh, I really actually Which like ASL? The hairy ASL, bro. Oh, shit. The oh, hairy ASL was crazy. <laughs> you remember the hairy ASL? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dry W from Talia hitting him on yep. CD, bro. Nah, the hairy ASL was just absolutely putrid. I never wanted to see that hairy ASL again. Um, something to take note of what Team Liquid does really well. Uh, we saw this during... The bro, at the time, though, Eon was lucky that... Uh, there was only like yeah. a academy mid laner ready to go, you know? Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> but Eon took the chance, you know? He's, he's, he's grown into the position. So. Yeah. No, I mean, that was the thing. is like you were so distracted by the, looking at the hairy ace hole that you couldn't even see what Eon was doing in the fight. Yeah, yeah. It was overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it was overwhelming. Yeah, also banned the poppy to ban another one of those counter engage Renekton's uh dash stoppers poppy is so annoying for the recon it's just a renekton 4 is it not for team liquid uh wonder what hundred thieves are going to pick into it but mm -hmm. bro guys chad we're talking about league has been coming back get your minds out of the gutter but it's a little okay keep your mind focused on the ace hole that's in front of you continue, but just just keeping impact to have his counter pick here grab some some sort of jungle I guess they're also afraid of Rumble right. that's still available but hasn't Look at that color Most scheme though. Have shown the willingness to pick <laughs> oh! That's a Yone pick. So it is a Talia uh, jungle. Damn. Talia jungle. Damn. River, <laughs> River Talia. Remember when he, wait, didn't he play it at a Worlds versus Golden Guardians and just fucking sprinted it? Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know. Proud in this one. Slamming the Yone down. I love That's it. kind of base though. It's kind of base. Like Yone to, really, to Aso. He really gets in there, man. Yeah. You think he's gonna penetrate the Aso in lane? For sure, man. Yeah. He's gonna blow his wins. <laughs> Jesus. Going to the Gragas here. Going to the Gragas instead. Definitely a lot more of a nullifying top. top Getting water. Pick. Uh, into snipers. All right, matchup wise, blue side Hopefully is looking impact, crispy, man. I like it. Solo killed anymore, Picasso. Or he's never gonna hear the end of it. Fingers crossed. Which one do you prefer more? Which comp? I gotta go with the Yone. I'm, I'm a big Yone fan, but I, I know that Team Liquid just won a game by scaling, so. Okay. Well, I'm interested. Let's hear from the Castros, guys. Which one do you prefer? Oh, Thank he quit the snorting heat what again. Do you guys think? I like the flex pick from 100 Thieves. Yeah. I like the counter engage they have with Renata, but then I also just like the fact that Talia has been undefeated in this series. I think TL locked now, in Blue side is a very solid comp early. The they should like be able to dominate the first 15 minutes of the game for sure. But they are also very fragile. If something goes wrong, and in these games it seems like something goes wrong, Red side is going to take over. They have opportunities to win that game smolder aside right um and this is another game once the, again the, the lane phase bots so far from what i've seen is not precise enough for the matchups to be honest I do like that, that usually favors like the the more lane chance the scale but uh, that he really has looked great on uh but on the zyra Khan versus what affilios what is what is affilios paired with here be uh, renata renata Core is I feel like the size playing, playing that one. I mean, to be fair, I, I don't, I don't think the Renata actually makes too much sense with this comp, with what they have. Because I feel like their comp is like, like I don't know. I feel like what all these champions want is they want a support to engage for them. They want like a rel to like go in so that they can just cast their abilities, like flank and do their thing. Like considering when they picked it, it kind of makes sense, right? It's like just showing Zayarakan, but. I guess they should know at this point that APA is going to pick a mage. Uh, that uh, the Talia idea for it to flourish, you, you should you should get uh, something heavier there. That makes sense. Like they could go like Zeri Nautilus, right? And then Talia Talia looks definitely a lot better in the jungle. Yeah, with the Yon Reynek. Of before four minutes, he's going to invade the enemy jungle. We'll have to track that. All right, we got Kobe standing by with TL Coach Spawn. 
Thank you, Isaac. I'm here with Jake Spawn Tabiri. How are you happy with the draft? You've been slamming the Zaya uh, plus Rakan and they're face checking right now. What yeah, the I hell mean, did Core just do? Honest, I think that this time around, however, they're playing much more of what they played earlier in the playoffs, like a little bit more lane pride, a little bit more uh, play for early. That didn't look good for them. Wait, did Core start Q here? We are not right now. Uh, then it will be okay. So uh, you just won a game scaling. Did they just the try to like bush cheese uh, with Q start? Since Smolder's banned, we're gonna go with APA's. Dragon. Bro, what is Cord? Uh, oh are no. Are you worried about the Yone slam at all? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Obviously, last time we uh, took our mid early and they had Talia, we banned Yone. Uh, we, but we thought Talia was actually a better mid lane pick for them. So kind of trying to incentivize getting it out of the mid lane, you know, uh, which we did. So now we just, you know, we hold on for Spawn is talking way too much now. He's like really in for right. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you know, like, I really think that, like, we need to win this game because we have nothing prepared for game five. <laughs> if we lose this game, it's a uh, time to bring out our secret secret weapon, Hecarim. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, bro. Classic. <laughs> you could see Spawn's face as it's happening. It's like, we just need to get through the early game, which we're not doing. I hear right Gilly is just uh, moaning in pain in the bathroom, bro. The kebabs uh, and burgers have got to him. Oh my lord. Not an easy one. I just heard, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Damn, bro. Wait, I told you what he does, right? Where he just eats a kebab and burger every day and then he just has a bucket of prunes? Yeah. It's so, I don't know, it's so fucked, bro. <laughs> that he just has a bucket of prunes and then he just, when he gets too clogged up, he eats two prunes and then he just goes at it. Dude, that's crazy, bro. We don't need to get into this too much. God damn. Uh, I don't know. It's legit. It's like, it's what I said the last time, bro. It's a Wolf of Wall Street routine. <laughs> yeah. Tough shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> takes the Quaaludes and then he takes the Coke and then he goes to the sauna to sweat it out and takes yeah. painkillers to remove it. And then yeah. he's slow and then he needs to Coke up again. And then he takes a prune. Why would that be flame? Give me a second. I'll be right back. Like, like, okay, okay. Great guy. Yeah. I'll keep you almost entertained. But it's a feeling it's missing CS, but it's okay. You got it. Actually, he's not missing CS. He's cheater based. He's cheater based. He's cheater based. I can't ideally river he breaks uh, the play on bottom side because you don't want Zyra account to crash. This is a very good timer here. River goes both side now after Raptors and then the purple switch will happen for Aphelios and they should look to break the ankles of, of, of Zyraka. Very important timer here to get advantage. You don't want to let Zyra come base. Very important. They don't show it on the camera because here you want to maintain the base. Zaya has no potion. She chunked, they lost HP. This is a very nice freeze here. Look at that purple gun, blue gun. Very standard play. Right now, 100 Thieves is saying, yo, they're getting fisted. You don't need to back me up. You could just do your camps and then you can cross. Very standard play. And now they are reversing. River can now hover. That bugs you. He's just pressing B. 100 Thieves. They're sniffing out the Team Liquid are just sacking. Very nice play. Very nice play. You never know once these teams get into the mud. Yeah, T.O. want to sit back and scale, and I think it's... This is the first yeah, I don't think really that a, a, like TL is in a lot of pain here. Instead, he goes mid, helps his mid get a better reset. Okay, they see that. Oh, really okay. So they baited out the push because now they are reverse pushing. So they are fast, <laughs> fast pushing. So TL cancel their base. We're just fine. What did I miss? It's still, it's still good. I'm just talking about the nature of both. It's like Talia. Uh, did the clear into top side into base and then cross for Raptor Golems just in time for Purple Gun on the cheetah base of Aphelios Renata to punish. So bot lane of Team Liquid is really like in trouble. Damn. They played good Aphelios and, and, and uh, Renata. Yeah. They're cooking. Oh. Q from Impact. There's this handshake agreement that we all want to fight all the time. You actually have to get your correct setup. TL's not going to give it to them. Yeah, and there, there's not really a lot of like guaranteed engage, shall we say, over on the Hundred Thieves side, right? Mm -hmm. So they're the team that wants to push a pace, but it's got to be, you know, a flank from Sniper, or it's got to be an engage from Quit. There's not that easy go button uh, that is going to make things happen. Oh, this is kind of good timing, I think. Forward. Where's the E from Yeon? Yeah. Umti is coming around the side. It's time to run here. The Sonic Wave going to be blocked by Meech. 
And that'll be Do some war jump for that. Good job by there, by me, recognizing. Yes, he relieves some pressure. There's no Zaya. Is it a prune, a prune gang? So could yeah. Repeat, but the two least important summoner spells burned, Meech and Ayla, both will still retain their flashes. And a lot of times you'd hope... Oh, shit, Talia must have done these void grabs so fast. Nope, I didn't even think case. about that. He actually has to just path all the way up. Really just babysit APA. Perfect timing on that. Okay, uh, we'll the ulti, So it is just a trade. Is empty again, is covering him. And in these kind of matchups, especially with the popularized built for Aesol now, where they're just rushing street Leandries and not building mana items, yeah. you actually do need help resetting your wave because mana can be. I don't know if I'm, if I'm River, I just want to secure the Drake here off of both situation and mid situation. I don't fucking like looking for camps. I, I think he's just wasting time, no? Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, think was I, would, I would cross that and do Drake. Like, you have good base already. In my opinion, it's, it's, it's good to do Drake in this spot. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, Umti will be allowed to reach 6 now. APA will come back. Yon has to base. I still can secure it. APA is no ult. Bot lane is suffering. It has been kind of just this trade of pressure as me stepping forward because Lee Sin obviously is spending more time covering, but we saw yeah. River spending that time farming, taking yep. the three grubs as well. As Core gonna get pulled back by the There's no E. No flash force. Stays Not gonna on. W or anything? Okay. Walk it out. Would you save some say, like, this is HP there with W? From Umpty that's gonna require a lot of strong mental. I know for pro junglers when their team has zero lanes that can get their own push organically. Okay. Feels unplayable because every time could just marinate the base here for you. They should just hold it. I think they could have done a good tempo base here. So the fact that we haven't had a kill no, it's a bit so too late. Is actually a big accomplishment by yeah, now they have to catch the wave. I mean, it's guaranteed Drake for 100 thieves now. The impact had pushed yep, the top yep. side, took that time, walked down, got a ward over on the enemy blue buff, which gave him the intel that likely River's going to be bot side. He's not top. APA so is just CSing completely fine. Back it out, and it's going to be empty actually starting Wait, what? Oh man, if they get this Drake, it's. It's robbery. And I think Wait, how how does TL get Drake? What? No way, right? Yeah. And That's TL, crazy. Again, nah, there's no way they get Drake here. Kind of like what makes a macro focus or like what makes them down items, not level six on Core JJ. It is setups around Don't have ult on Asol. Like ah, it's River so crazy. Really trolled, no? River really trolled. He had such a big window to do something. Yep. I think because so. Renata can just hover and base on the Drake. Like Renata one shots that shit too. Alright, this is why we didn't do Drake. This is dead as hell, I guess. No flash. Yep. Wait, when did he lose his flash? I'm not sure, I wanted to ask you. I guess they didn't show it. Oh my god. Okay. And Sniper will want to open that up. I mean, the fact that they're going to have that renection for the next I really don't like when supports open on mid when they have a really hard time crossing into both. I didn't like it. Uh, Damn, APA is nice. just not going to flash? Hmm. What is Umpty doing? He's in feeding or what? He cleansed that? <laughs> yeah. But the CS advantage is so small now. No flash. What's going on? Oh, oh about the W. The kick, the oh, the kick. He oh. flashed. Oh, he's never mind. It's ghost. Okay. okay. Just wait. Reset this core. Needs to pull aggro. He's going to do it with the ulti now. Just step out of range. Nicely executed on the redive there from TL. I have to say, really big mistake from Ayla. Like, you don't open on mid when your gang jungler is ganking top. Because the enemy will cross map and they will not let you enter. He needs to go straight bot there. The Drake as yep. we relive this is this really bad. Kill, we see exactly why, uh, you can only do that so when the enemy doesn't know where your jungler is, but you, you to, um, your top lane again, just got to kill. But I mean, here they got to, they had free had choice here. The Drake take, you saw them placing the vision down. <laughs> like they chose to die. Like they got flash and cleanse here. Yeah, like just yeah, yeah, be yeah. happy, bro. Ah, uh, come on, bro. Come on. Fully agreed. Fully agreed. It just uh, yeah. I could just to declare like this, so I chat up. Just if they cross both, the Zaya when she's so hitting the wave, the Rakan and Lisan can't stop them, and they can't, they can't, they can't get dove. But I think now Team Liquid might have a window yeah, like to go through towards it. the end of the game. They burn both summoners from each. But okay, quit is smuffing. Him and Yon has the opportunity to get very strong now. But uh, being a fellow Renata in these conditions, like the, this matchup is going to get harder from now. Up a good 20 CS mid lane, got a solo kill, took a plate, and that's even with them team making multiple trips to mid lane to try to help APA reset that wave. <laughs>
I'd say maybe the best. I don't know, bro. Like everyone is just suffering on. I feel like hundred thieves. They just have to understand that they don't that doing nothing there. They're massively winning. Like mid got solo killed, top got ganked. You have two lanes open where you're just collecting resources. There's only one on the map that like you can't collect. As long as you just don't die bot, you're winning so hard on the map. To really yep, yep. take over this game, he already won v one solo killed the A soul under his turret. He's twenty CS up, and I really want to see what Quid can do with this advantage. Yeah, as we what is the APA over, even good at? Loses lane, lane instant late game. He's good at type now. racer. There's the kick. We'll see if they can find it. Falling star comes through. It does connect. The stun is there. Sonic wave resonating strike. Not going to be enough damage. Okay, some relief. Fate is sealed to get out. Plus the flash. So nice little attempt. Doesn't cost TL too much. I mean, it did it did cost them the two ultimates, but if it can actually give them a window into picking up these grubs and denying the six grubs from Hunter mm -hmm. Thieves, it would be more than worth it because they only had to sack a little bit of bot lane pressure to make that happen. Bro, I'm sneezing fucking perma. Yeah, see is something. Yep. Gilly's had a cat. Not a total disaster. <laughs> did you? Oh yeah, <laughs> shit, we had this conversation. Yep. Mm -hmm. That shit is wild, but that's like... Two years ago. Angering. It's literally been dead for over two years. Quid and River are looking, but gonna elect to just go for that red buff instead as Ayla had made a move up towards them and Umti now spots. I heard something the other day that uh, like liquid ecstasy, if it's like put on a surface, it stays there for like years on years on years. And if you touch it, it actually like you ingest it through the skin. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, we'll Imagine you have like some artifact, the that to like that you're, you're hiding from night. like your grandchildren, and then you like you just paint it with <laughs> liquid X. What the fuck? And when they grab it. <laughs> they just Jesus. completely messed up. <laughs> mid lane soul unbound apa gonna take the bad end of another trade here oh. as mt will steal the right away so it is red for red but he gets the flash on top and that has got to feel good Ayla stepping forward and i feel like yeah hit such a low percentage of his roots walk it out wait why is that actually like i don't play zion but it feels like his like the way he lines up his feathers he just always misses the root pressure on this bottom lane by time for apa and impact to scale up they haven't lost those lanes that badly 10 cs and 30 cs plus mm -hmm. A death on both of them, but the overall. Yeah, that's not using the ruler skin, kind of right? <laughs> that's something else. No, 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 that's something else. Thank you. Otherwise, just back to war. It's just a matchup. We're scaling. So here's the question like, I really haven't seen that much ace, many ASOL Gragas Lee Sin comps. Like, does that really scale that much better than Talia, Renekton, Yone? I think it is somewhat close. Like, I think overall, Hunter Thieves is primed for. A pretty successful game. I think the one thing I will say is there's a lot of pressure on Quid, and when you're going in as that primary engage, so we're gonna see Static Shivion one day. If you go in and you get cc by Core, is that coming and our way? And so on by Impact, no way, right? Blade yeah. to OP, crack it to OP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even like shield bow people like, that's no way. Exactly. Wait, he went a crick cloak into Bork. Is that a thing? Yeah. That was what I was gonna I've seen like I Bork into like IE, but I've never seen Crit Cloak into Bork. I think like he couldn't afford pickaxe and just had gold. Is really good. And but the easy execution of yeah. just getting a bunch of yes. gold as well is Must have been uh, it. and also probably getting this first turret as Click the CS. go for the Rift Herald. This bot lane is is massive for TL. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they've had complete Drake control as well, which again, we were talking about like, okay, what are some ways that they end up getting through the mid game? Well, I'm still so shocked it's 450, bro. I thought it was 300 and I thought the item was good. Being able to have yep. Set up on bot side is 450 HP, bro. So broken. And it's also worth noting it is going to be Stridebreaker Rush here for Sniper. Something a little bit less common, but does have that additional slow in. Uh, can be nice against some of these more slippery champions. Static He did it in uh, a second game, maybe? Uh, we'll see where he wants to go second, but... Fork and IE, uh, it's Remember he did it these days and can allow you to be a really strong side laner, especially if you're going to be matching up against Gragas, who obviously is building yeah. a lot of health. And I think Sniper working to shield bow. All pro third team and Do you need a shield bow in this game? And then Quid and River getting all pro first team. Some people just go IE here. Oh, the, the IE tech was what people go. They had such a surprisingly dominant this dry IE. 10 and 4, getting the number two seed. Yet here they are now, one game from elimination against Team Liquid needing to press the go button and honestly this game is kind of going how they would want it to go snipers ahead
Quid's ahead. River's ahead. They have the opportunity to make Frame for Sosa. Oh, fuck. What do I do with Sosa? I still haven't moment. figured it out. Being down to Drizzy, yeah. only being up 700 gold does put the pressure on those top three to really play well. And I think that big moment might be this next dragon, right? Because the first two did go to TL. If you give up three dragons in a row, it could be pretty tough. Here River behind is behind him. him. It's oh, my God. River? Damn. ABA got his ult off, though. Oh, he's Damn. alive. Damn. And River's going to die as well. That's big. It's just that's more people on the play. Oh, oh my God, the blast cone. Oh shit, that might be series, bro. That might be the season for hundred thieves. The scaling in the bank. Yeah, these games are way too volatile to be like rooting on the team that has the team like the comp that requires precision. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Tails is first on the play. That's so disastrous for their state in this game. APA didn't even die during that. No. Coach yeah. Liquid, and now you're. Yeah, there's no coming back from this, man. Yeah, dude, they lose so much on the map. They, they also have famous medicals. I mean, yeah, they also have like full flashes on TL side for the Drake. Like they didn't even use that much here. That's for APA flash. The fact alone, like that they are two Drakes down as well, is crazy. Yep. Like considering what happened mid and top and the bot circumstance with the freeze earlier. Hmm. It's like that that Ayla crossing into mid and then them fighting three three bot was so costly. Bro, this is kind of crazy if you... Oh, shit, man. Ayla. You grief for Ayla. I mean, I don't think he can take it mid, to be honest. This is dead if he does it right. I guess you just not click it, right? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, but the charge will still go off, so they're going to get the tier one. I actually think that was clever. I realized that there was kind of an overload of members there. Charge will not go off. Charge against this little mini cooldown, I think, after you use it. Yep. Going to be going soul unbound on the impact. Um, but we've seen some pretty clever plays. Was it XU last week who did the crazy drift yeah. from mid down to bottom yeah. actually hit the tower? That's the coolest one I've I've seen in the LCS. All right, sure. one eleven on Drake. What items do we have? Is Eon rich? Yeah, yeah. he has an Avery, no? That one's definitely really nice. Close. Oh, he doesn't. He's like close, bro. Shit. But you didn't your hit the deer that was on the road. Exactly. But you're like. You're I guess he. Oh no, never mind. He didn't get the full mid turret. I thought he actually got it. It's like one HP. But it's something. Yeah. He drove it. Yep. <laughs> And you gotta say, we checked in on APA. Wow. They're really trying to get APA's stack so he gets like empowered ult. I mean, I guess TL doesn't like have to have to fight this if the position looks sus and APA doesn't have his mega ult. All of a sudden, the wave just instantly dies. It becomes very difficult to interact with them. He's no longer as limited by his mana. Yeah, and I think uh, as we see TL once again setting up for this Drake off of Base. Under Thieves, Dude, the TP's running to this on top. It's fine. The spot side of the map still. Like, Ayla, he has, like, pretty obvious mistakes. He makes pretty obvious mistakes, but he's been fine this split, bro. He had, like, a better general split than a lot of people that are considered better than him. Is really risky for Hunter Thieves, but at the same time, yeah. if they lose this fight badly, they're all pro support. Uh, real name? Oh. Uh, nope. River okay. is just fucking turbo inting it, bro. That's a straight up rundown. GG. It's a, yeah, it's fucking over, bro. It's third Drake. Yeah, Bro, umpty, what the fuck is this, man? Like, why? <laughs> like, wait, it was literally free. Like, why would you ever do this? Wait, why would he ever do? Oh my god! Oh my god! TL, no, you griefers, man. <laughs> Ain't no what? Oh, oh, the drift oh, was back to. Wait, he push, pushes forward. Good ghost on. <laughs> Wait, APA, you're uh, Arena on one trick. Yeah. You had killed, bro. Pretty sure that was a kill. Dude, what the fuck did Umpty just do, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, he lives. <laughs> nah, no way we threw... What the fuck did I just watch, man? The game was so free. We literally just go Drake and the game is like over. <laughs> Oh, fuck. this is just crazy, man. Yeah, it's so important for 100 Thieves to be able to stop that Dude, Umpty is like 
he's just not good it is what it is bro there's a reason he's like 30 percent win rate lifetime it's time to bring Yoshi back bro i gotta play more solo queue this guy's top five in na solo queue oh shit like i'm just getting confidence watching this like surely looking fly right now surely i can hit rank one two people on his team are dead and this is team who got so confident off of this because Again. Um, like look at this it's the freest drink of all time why do we oh. ever go for this ever i hate it so much man i hate it so much and then the additional kills they picked up as team liquid kind of doubles down on fighting in the mid lane since their jungler is dead keep them in this game that in that initiation okay what's next now we're very much in the thick of things only 300 gold the difference it's so fucked give them a slight gold lead and only a one dragon deficit and these fights are so scrappy. I mean, they still win the game pretty easily, no? Kind of yeah, they, they've just outscaled so hard. Like, Zaya has um, way too much money. Of this entire series. Yep. Um, the richest Zaya ever. Definitely think, again, we're this talking about Jeff Bozo. <laughs> Jeff Bozo. Easy to pick off people. I, I think TL is very <laughs> Jeff Bozo. <laughs> Who the <laughs> fuck is Jeff Bozo? <laughs> Jeff Bozo somehow got rich and they don't deserve it. God damn. <laughs> I think he is as well. I think maybe it's the Jeff Bozo, bro. All right, bro. Yon has such a strong playoffs. He had this guy didn't send any books. Holy shit. He's had an early game advantage in most of the games this series, and he is poised to carry Team Liquid to finals weekend. If he can protect this lead, I think the things he definitely needs to watch out for is just any wombo combo. Oh, star yes. Okay, down. the big one. We'll see if he can find any way out of this. Doesn't look like it. He's gonna be charmed up, but sniper TP's into the back line. Alice alive. Oh, kick, kick flash onto river. river. Oh my god, the okay. Gragas ult. Ay, yeah, yeah. Oh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh. Oh. Sniper? Damn, sniper! Oh, he dashed into it. Is he just dead? Oh, oh, we're drifting. Oh, we're oh. oh. I guess. OTP. Oh, Mitch almost has ghosts. If he has ghosts, he could smurf it, no? He doesn't have his summoners. Yep. They gotta do this perfectly. If they bot the engage, it could go bad for him. Seven. Oh. There's the body slam, and now the CC comes in. No way out for Mitch. Well, Buffy the carry, man. Why couldn't he one v three? I'm saying. Slim margins you could see the trepidation with core jj not wanting to over engage knowing trepidation the come that's a word i've never heard and then hundred thieves use that to i've heard that word for the oh they're already in so in. so op in this spot really yep yeah. everyone's funneling this through this little so little hole the size of my so hallway yeah zaya inherently <laughs> that was an unfortunate <laughs> impact ult on her own gets the play color root there uh and even though they are able to shut him down then apa is still a massive damage problem uh and impact and core no nah, the fucking drift here it's so funny holy <laughs> shit this is the old to be huge burst of damage so meets can pick up a soul is important but i think what's more important is the sun quit at the pop back earlier no i've had had a lethal there already could find a way to fast, although I don't really feel like they have a good way to set up. That would be a window for them to get something done. And Meech just now Why are we on the midway? It was five. Big on yeah. the other side. We'll see if they can find any sort of an opportunity to get it done. When top is like that. We have to be looking at Quid for that, though. And right now he's sitting bot lane. So not much of an angle thus far. Next dragon going to be up here in about a minute. And both teams will look towards controlling mid, trying to get vision in that area. I just love this series, man. Yeah. We were saying like, time. ah, they got this scaling comp. It's going to be really slow. Ugh. Oh, 21 kills in 24 minutes already with no sign of slowing down. Bro, I can't believe that they don't have soul right here. Umpty. Gonna have to get out of oh, APA? He's dead. He tried to give Damn. W to Lisa and killed himself. Ay, 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 man. They're gonna try to look for it. He could yeah, even just W into the river, but he won't insist on W into the mid. No <laughs> reason. And hundred thieves, I think it's I think they're willing to flip it. Sniper going for gonna be able to Bro, what? We're, the we're the all like that? Not gonna find the angle. Kind of fucking blows, no? no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, definitely. Pump it. That's the big thing. Yeah, just go, just go, just go. Uh, Ayla in zone with ult. You can get pretty good quit ult too onto Yeon. Yeon has no ult. Oh, Quid just sent it. Oh, he just ran it the fuck down, didn't he? Why doesn't Ayla use spells? 
Hey, this one doesn't want to. Oh my god, they lost. Oh, yeah, and the spacing, brother. Oh, the spacing. Here comes Meech. But now Ayla is here alongside Meech, and this could be problems for them. But APA is back. Ah, he oh, he's back. And here comes the mid laner. It's a double for APA. Oof. Honestly, like I think if Ayla was ready for what Quinn dropped on them, imagine he W's and carpets that with ult as well, with Q. Like, wait. What is happening in the LCS game? I think. Yeah. It's that. League of Legends. Yeah. It, I mean, it's been a fun time. I'm having fun. You guys 20, fun? Yeah, 28 kills now over one kill per minute in this game yeah. absolutely razor thin margins in these team fights the let's see what happened to Ayla here because like imagine he just plays with that play why doesn't he use yeah why doesn't he ult here nothing like w ult something fucking press your spells bro why, why did he not ult until that and then he are oh my god wait why did he not r this is everything layered pretty much perfectly there and that is the danger when you're going in even with the shield bow he couldn't survive we're back to live though and another fight is the falling star is going to connect immediately down on the river yeah okay, river's just dead go, the <laughs> no time at all. oh me just dead too wait is the game just over they said no Bro, we were in a replay. Like, why are they pushing so far forward on three? Well, three <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They just lost Relative the game. Yon, like. All right, GG. From quit. GG. Even if they do base, it's Damn, this is, this is a wild fucking game. <laughs> this game was fucking crazy, bro. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Wait, did Yon not have E? Why didn't he pull the feathers? I don't get it. Look at the Umti scoreline. Did they play in that scoreline? Nah, 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 yeah, nah. It's so crazy that he has that scoreline after this. Is that an immortal Lee Sin game? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> GG. Okay. Hey, it was a pleasure, brother. All right, bro. Tomorrow, man. I go to bed. All right, bro. <laughs> bye peace, bye. peace. See you. Guys, just like that, just like that, this TL team with this gameplay, perfect gameplay, is one series away from making it to MSI, bro. This team, if they're able to beat the loser of FlyQuest and C9, they, take down they will be at MSI for me over representing us against the likes so of Genji, T1, Billy Billy, JDG, Top Esports, Hanwha Life, some, some motherfuckers like that. So we got that's what we got to look forward to, bro. Let's hope that they can get it done. Let's hope that they can get it done. Guaranteed top three, at least equaling their finish from Summer Split last year. And as I said, two series away from the title. We've talked about two series away from the title. Wait. And then if they win that series, if they win two more series, there's just the champions of North America. All right. Okay. So I'll be on tomorrow. Wait, CB Law co stream? Are we veg? Oh, let me look at my phone real quick. I think one of the things I'm really liking about how TL are playing is they have clearly settled on their play style. We're going to play scaling. We're going to play for 5v5, but we're not going to be scared. We're not just going to back off everything. If we think that we can win this fight, we're going to have confidence in our execution. We're going to have confidence to be able to get it done. We also have to talk about 100 Thieves. One second. Their run, really young team. People were thinking they were going to be a bot four team. They finished second, tied for first even in the regular season. They're able to win against energy, defending champions. A lot of young players over on that side and a tremendous amount of promise. Yeah, I am really, really proud of this Hundred Thieves team. I think they had such great okay. and understanding through the. Actually, yeah, we're gonna be done. We're gonna be done here. They clicked really well. I'm super. I will be on in the morning. I'll be on in the morning. We have LPL. I'll probably be on for WE LNG. We got WE LNG and NIP BLG. So some bangers tomorrow. All right, I'll see you guys for that. I'm out. Peace. What have you guys been eating?
during the regular season, you guys have been pretty slow paced, but every series we've had so thus far, you guys have been really bloody as a team. Um, I think we just realized that we're actually really good in scrims. Like we've been insane when you're in scrims. So we just said we're gonna play like scrims. And I think that's been like our entire goal. And I mean, to be honest, we smash everyone in scrims. What has been the breakout? Because that has been Spawn's like, anytime he's been in front of camera, he's just like, we play better in scrims. We're a lot more bloody in scrims. That's something that he said during the regular season. But like, what was that break point? What really pushed you guys to kind of be as bloody and take more risks? Um, I think we all had our own like revelations about that. Like for me, it was, Game t or our second game versus 100 Thieves, when, to be honest, I had a really shit Oriana game, just to be completely blunt about it, and I could have carried, I should have carried, but then I played just super, super scared, so that was my revelation. I'm sure others had like a similar thing in a different game. It was just like, once we all came to that revelation, we all just like started being aggressive, like we are in scrims. And you guys are, been killing it. You in particular took a sabbatical from tr trash talking during this Dignitas series. What was the reason behind it? And then also just like going to this series, just like how did it feel? I'm Dick's trash. You don't need to trash talk for some. <laughs> so like this series, you had to lock in a little bit. So a little bit of trash talk and then next year's we'll ramp it up. Okay, talking about ramping it up, you guys will be ramp you are now ramping it up into finals weekend. You have locked in a spot as a top three team. You just took down the first team all pro in APA, or APA, <laughs> maybe, uh, in quid. But then you're going to be going 